So, as I welcome everyone, it's uh, great to see you. Sorry for the small hold up and uh, the very professional trade over. Um, Laura's uh, going to be jamming an awesome game about a tribe of goblins in a lost uh, forest or a lodge, lost wood to be exact. Um, so, look forward to it. Uh, I am. And but before we jump into that, we're going to do lightning uh, introductions because we're going to catch it at the end and we just want to get onto the game. So, Laura Bones. Ace person has uh, been around World Avil for forever, and uh, yeah, uh, I might know them quite well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, writing one thing is uh, is here because uh, say both uh, Laura Bones and Koi Toy have done a lot of streaming before and are used to running adventures online because as I say they both did the the great GM's uh, gauntlet of uh, streaming and uh, got through that with uh, things. So people to trust with your uh, great players. And uh, yeah, um, joining us uh, today is also going to be Danny Adventures, a uh, long time um, World Avil user, professional goals coach, uh, does great writing streams here today to be a goblin. I think like everyone else, <laughs> it's like uh, Shadow Phoenix, in incredible bug slayer, um, software tester, <laughs> writer, impressive owner of uh, a, a poor the carrier that may or may not have come <laughs> before yet. And uh, <laughs> uh, Ale or Alandro, um, awesome coder of the World Anvil team. I say we're dragging we're dragging people out of the shadows uh, <laughs> to uh, come and actually uh, see performance. So you will learn a lot more about some of the people that really help keep World Anvil together, and <laughs> but don't always get things. And Hefe, who uh, is Hef and says Hef and draws and writes Hef, or the Heflings as they're otherwise known. Um, Long time streamer, most has the most uh Iron Gorge challenge badges for streaming all of World Ember and uh Summer Camp, so yeah, veteran. So I'm gonna disappear stage left and I'm gonna get Laura on the show. So have a great game, really enjoy it, and yeah, have fun being green. I'll see you all in a bit. <laughs> Yes, hello. <laughs> so today we're going to take you on a little fun adventure with our goblins to an enchanted forest. Um, <clears throat> so today I've decided I'm not going to be looking at chat either because I need to just concentrate on the game. So <clears throat> we'll let second hand deal with chat. <laughs> um, we should start with a scene um, as the camera kind of pans down into a into a large wood that spreads towards the horizons on all sides. Um, it is a nice day, the sun is shining as the camera slips down through the branches of the trees. Um, and you'll notice that the trees are, the leaves are strange shades, not just greens, but sometimes blues, sometimes reds, sometimes even purples. And the trees sometimes are twisted in strange shapes and some you may not have seen before. But either way, we pan all the way down to the ground as you follow a small animal track through the through the forest and there are small patches of mushrooms, some glowing, some not, some spotted, some not, patches of ferns and the rustlings of creatures scurrying through the undergrowth. And eventually the camera breaks out into a small clearing in the middle of the forest, scattered with a few logs and tree trunks and branches and patches of wildflowers. <clears throat> and there we see our four four strange figures lying in the clearing and they're all starting to, to, to stir and, and shake and come round. And as the camera settles on our first um, goblin, was uh, Danny. You, your goblin, Bramble, I believe, um, you remember running. You were running from the birds. The birds, yes, they were flapping and scratching and clawing and, and you had to get away, you had to get away and you must have got away because they're not here but where's here as you look around confused at the glade aha uh -huh. this is peculiar and tell us what, what would people see, what is something a little distinctive about your goblin that people would see as they looked at you 
So I'm hugging my basket because it's very important. Is is my grandmom's my mom made it? And I won't let it go. <clears throat> and next, as we see the goblins in there hugging their basket, looking around in confusion, camera pans over next to a, another goblin, um, also it's beginning to look slightly confused as to as to where they they are. You'd you left home. It, it was all a misunderstanding, but then you travelled and you've been to a few places, but none were quite right. And you don't remember going into a forest. You remember being on the road, but uh, no, it's it's just not coming to you. How how did you even get you? Where is even here? And what does our camera see as they look at your small, confused goblin? Wait, me? No, Hefe, sorry. Oh, oh well, Apologies, I, I did not say the name. I'm so sorry, Hefe. <laughs> <laughs> I am nervous, folks. Hang on. <clears throat> well, you see... Um, you're a furry... Goblin, with quite the beard and hair, why not? Uh, and and he's wearing this this floral apron with like you know tunic and pants. People, you know, you know, keep it decent. Come on. Uh, and and as he kind of like looks looks around, confused. Trees. Book. Where's 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 book book? I try and look for my for my cookbook. And my kitchen where for I cook. Cause, the cause for I am chop. <laughs> I cook. <laughs> chop, I eat. Chop cooks. And the camera moves on from the scrambling frantic goblin padding down pockets and, and bags and things and moves over to our third goblin <clears throat> who also um, left home didn't quite feel appreciated, so they snuck out one night into into the woods and they also set about travelling and again, same same situation. You know you left home, you know you set out somewhere, you you're just really not sure how you got here in this woods. <clears throat> Certainly not the same woods you ran off into. Those ones at least were familiar. This not so much. But what do we see is as we look at, at your goblin, what stands out? Shadow. Oh. Um yeah. I, I I'm Gobi and I always have my ponytail on the left side of my head. For reasons. Uh I did it since I was small. And as I look around trying to figure out where I am, the first thing that comes to mind is that I need a cup of coffee. So I grab my trusty mocha pot and uh, <laughs> scramble around for some coffee beans. And then we have, oh, last but not least, of our goblins, um, who find themselves in a very similar situation to to those laid out. You know, you, you come around and there are three other very obviously looking confused, some slightly panicky. Um, other goblins of different shapes and sizes to 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 your goblin. You goblins don't all, you know, come in come in different um, flavors. Um, <clears throat> and you set out from home with a very specific purpose in in search of something. Um, pretty sure you haven't found it yet. You're not entirely sure. You're probably going to find it here, wherever here is, but. Yeah, who knows? You know, it might be. <laughs> what what do we see when when we look at? Um, I see three goblins lying down or doing their own stuff. I'm like, I'm hungry. That's all I think. Food, coffee. I want coffee. Do you have coffee? Give me coffee. I have coffee. Sure, let me grab you some. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So you all come to. Um, a little confused as to how you ended up here, but you all do have the sense that you were all going somewhere, and you there's this just this 
sense that you have to, you, you need to get out of here. And maybe if you get out of here, you might remember what it is you were doing or where you were going, but um, you will have the opportunity now to just have a little conversation with each other if you wish, or get to know the, the, the goblins that are around you. Anyone else coffee? I got some more. Oh, I would like some coffee. coffee. Just, yeah, just coffee. a little bit. Yes, yes. You're oh, talking like it very, very, very much. Thank you. Chop, don't, chop, don't drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. Cook, cook, no there's coffee. no coffee. Do you, so do no you coffee. eat vegetables? I have vegetables in my basket. I have, mm. I have peppers and tomatoes and, and mushrooms. There are some really good mushrooms, mushrooms in this. Anybody else want veggies? I like some mushrooms. Me too. Um, I'll have everything. I'm hungry. I'm just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Take me to a kitchen and I'll cook you the best meal you've ever had. Ooh. Me want some. We, whatever we whatever me want. Do you think there's a kitchen? It. Do you think there's a kitchen <clears throat> around here? I'm really good at finding things. Maybe I can find a kitchen. Go for the Perfect. kitchen. <laughs> As you're all uh, talking about yourselves and getting to know one another, you begin to pick up a sound on the um, on the edges of your hearing. It's like a, a little buzzing sound, and it 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 kind of sounds like bees, but not like they don't. They don't sound like, agitated or frantic sometimes like bees are. It's a little more a little more ordered. Um, and as the, the buzzing sound gets gets louder and approaches the clearing, sure enough, you see a, a large swarm of, of bees. Um, but they seem to be shifting and moving in an odd in an odd pattern um, as they just slowly kind of, of move into the into the glade. Um, and you hear a, a voice that seems to come from the swarm of bees. Um, please be not afraid, friends. Could, could this bees talk you? Are they talking? Hello, bees. Who else, who else is going to say that? <laughs> I don't know, maybe someone up in the trees. Do you think they have honey? That would be good for the coffee. That would be good. Yeah. We has no honey. Oh, we has oh. message. Okay. Do you have kitchen? No. But what is the message? <laughs> It is from the forest. I am guardian of sorts. Okay. You wish to leave forest? Yes? Sure. Yes. If the forest does not have a kitchen. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Forest collects things. Oh, I collect things. I collect marbles in, in my marble bag and, and I collect mushrooms and vegetables. That's delightful. My cookbook's mine. You the forest money? demands tribute before you may leave. Collect enough shiny objects to appease the forest, and the way out will be revealed. Ooh. Is treasure hunt? Yes. I have shiny coffee beans. Is shiny, coffee beans. Mm -hmm. shiny enough? No. Oh. I have a knife that's dull. We could shine it, polish it. These things will, well, shine. You, you will know them when you see them. Ooh. And you don't find things! 
This is a good day. This is a very good day. Mm -hmm. We got all fine things, yes? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where should we start? That is up to you. Remain true to what you are. The way forward will be clear. Hmm. So we must remain goblin. It's almost as if the bees turn to face you, even though it doesn't have a face. But it seems very much as if they're focusing their attention on on um, you now, copy. Um, yes, exactly so. You got it right. <laughs> Think I can do that? Cool. Let's go. Hmm. But let me finish my coffee first. With that, the bees sort of um, spin and turn and drift back off into the into the forest. What? Zoom it down. Should we follow the bees? They say. The way forward is clear. Do we go the way forward? Let's go. All right. <laughs> I'll follow. Let me just my... grab all my stuff and put them in my pouches, and then I'm as ready as I can be. I pick up my cookbook and lay it over. Let's go. I pull out my magnifying glass so I can find things. <laughs> I just start marching forwards. <laughs> chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> foot, 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 coffee, foot. <clears throat> <laughs> you all um, set off. You just pick a direction and set off in that direction because why not? <clears throat> and you're traveling through the... And it, the forest isn't particularly difficult to travel through, but it's not... You know, there aren't, like, paths or anything like that. Every now and again, there's the odd little paths, animal trail or something. But you're clambering over, like, um, fallen logs and patches of moss and, and things like that. And you can hear the constant sound of, of like, creatures and wings and scurrying. Um, but nothing that seems immediately, you know, dangerous or anything like that. Um <clears throat> And eventually you you come to a little bit more of a clearing. This one's not as like a, a clear clearing like yours was. There's still some little a couple of trees standing in it, but it's a much past, sparser, should I say, a patch of, of um, forest. And in, in the middle, there's this huge tall tree. Um, it's, it's, it, it's not very like, fat around it's it, but it's just it's this tall slender um tree with just a few branches sticking out and the, the leaves don't start till about halfway up um and as your gazes like follow all the way up just at the top you think you can see well about halfway like where the, the trees the leaves start at the top um tucked into a, a branch crook you can see a, a shining and a and a twinkling um up there as you as you gaze up into the tree there's one there's one that has to be it yes i found it i found it with my magnifying glass go grab it is mm. is very up there i would climb climb i have the tree <laughs> I have this. And you can do it with confidence. Yes. <laughs> I confidently hug the tree. I <laughs> Oh, so you're trying to climb up the you're trying to climb up the tree. <laughs> does does anybody else yeah that's that's perfectly fine. You can attempt that and you're going to do it with are you using the with confidence tag from our <laughs> just for um um, chat purposes as well. Yes, we do have a, a series of goblin tags that the goblins can can use and burn to um, get a bonus on their on their rolls to accomplish things. <clears throat> um, 
<laughs> so we'll act with confidence. Okay, so, so I'll give what you if, a... What so if I what if everybody you, uh, else is yeah what is everybody else doing to either assist in this endeavor or perhaps you've got your own idea that you think oh actually i think this is better or um heavy um or chop rather yeah chop would like to um oh this is tricky uh you see the shiny i mean Charles, which one? <laughs> yeah, uh, I... Can I reach it? No, it is oh. at least as many, many feet up okay. in this tree. Okay. Uh, it's probably taller I, than you if you've ever seen. I look up. <laughs> I look up the other, the other three. Who's 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 tallest? Who's, who's, who's tallest out us? Let us stand next and see who's tallest. Am, am I, I? I'm very short. Oh. I won't yeah. be climbing on top of you then. <laughs> <laughs> it is probably at least like 20 goblins up, you would say. If you measured it in, in goblins, it's a good like oh. 20 goblins up. Yeah, if this is... We need, it's we, need more, we need more goblins. <laughs> are there any animals around? Um, there are a few. Like, there's some birds hopping about in places. You can see a few. You can hear the scurryings at the edge of the glades of... Probably could be um, anything, really, but... Well, I go. I have no idea if the birds can talk or not, or if they can understand me, but I try going them like, hey, can you pick that up? I have through then <laughs> shiny stuff for you. I'll try to convince them. The birds okay. go grab it for me. <laughs> okay, so I'm try and convince the birds. Yeah. And copy? Is it copy? Was it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I will give encouraging words of support to Danny. I forgot the goblin name. I'm sorry. Bramble. <laughs> Bramble. Bramble. I will give encouraging words and see if she can make it to the top. <laughs> <laughs> you can okay. do this! How can harder? <laughs> okay. So, Danny, you can roll me a 2d6, and you can add a plus two for that, one for the tag of Act with Confidence, and also um, copy shouting the words of encouragement to you as you, as you try to climb this, um, <laughs> as this tree. Um, <clears throat> oh, Alejandro, what's your character called again? Sorry. Uh, Slobang. Slobang. Yeah, so Slobang, you attempt to go over and um, and talk to some of the birds. Um, and most of them just kind of like tilt their heads. <laughs> Half of them just kind of fly away when they come. You know, the flight of fight instinct kicks in and some of the more bolder ones, because it is an enchanted forest after all, you know, kind of put their heads curiously at you um, but none of them really quite seem to understand maybe they just don't speak goblin um, you know but the, but but they listen you know with their little heads and they chirp back at you <laughs> daddy what did you get on so your roll I rolled a four so that's that's six <laughs> <laughs> you 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 scramble up the tree and, and you're going up and you realize that this actually was a lot taller than it seemed from <laughs> from the ground um you know you didn't you didn't really think it was this far up and even though the words of encouragement from copy below you you're thinking i kind of feel i kind of feel i kind of feel but but eventually the bark starts rubbing against your your arms and and it gets sore and tired and um you just kind of like begin to to sl you just you just can't go any further, and you kind of just uh, stood there. You're, you're holding on about oh well, let's say fifteen feet, maybe fifteen to twenty feet up the tree, and you're just like you're you're tired. You can't go on, but it's also a long way down. So now you're kind of just there, holding on to this tree. <laughs> 
I'll just shout upstairs, come on, you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, it's very high up, but even higher. Mm. And even have very, very good idea. Anyone? I'll just move to the base of the tree right below Bramble. So, in case she falls, she at least lands softly. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, Chop has a Chop, plan. Chop would like to bring out out of his mini kitchen utensils as part of him as well. Two knives. And he will use each knife to climb up the tree, digging in, because climbing trees is be- is, is, is 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 easier with friends. Oh <laughs> and I will go up there. I will help Bramble get this shiny object so then we can get back to the kitchen and I can make us dinner. Okay, go <laughs> Good idea. Good and, idea. And Chop's, and Chop's really, really hungry, so <laughs> he needs to get uh, the shiny. He's also tri- driven by hunger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so give me the 2D6 um, and obviously you're using your knives as an implement to, to help you climb as well. So you get the plus one, plus the plus one from easier with friends. So that's a plus two to your roll. I have a dagger that I can give him. It's kind of dull, but to help. I think it. Uh, <laughs> I've rolled a nine, so plus two. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> yes, you see stabbing into the tree with his knives. It, it does keep quite sharp because, I mean, what chef doesn't keep sharp knives? Mm. It's useless if they're not sharp. And sure enough, <clears throat> stabs his way up to the tree, um, up to where Bramble is. And um, together, the pair of them manage to help each other um, up the rest of the way of the tree until just above them they can see what looks to be it's like a, a nest like a bird's nest just nestled in the in the crook of the tree and sticking out of the bird's nest it's obviously just something that the bird whoever built the nest had used to build it is this um large glowing um it's kind of like golds and, and browns but the 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 whole feather itself is kind of just is shining slightly there it is. It's a shiny, shiny feather. Um, um, where, where are the birds? Um, I don't know where the birds are, but we should what? be very careful because I... birds like to dive and have sharp beaks, and and they try to eat people. Chop's not food. Chop eats food. Chop is not food. <laughs> chop is taste is chop, and chop is not. <laughs> Being you a chop hurts. <laughs> we, we should take the shiny and collect it. Like we've collected shiny. <laughs> I can put Do it in my Do we see deck. anything from below? Um, from below you can't see anything um, in particular. No. Like nothing seems to have changed in the forest around you or anything like that either. Um, as you guys peer into the nest, there doesn't seem to be any eggs in it. Um, but you're not too sure if it's someone still using it or not, but it's it's not currently um, with any eggs. So it's safe, maybe. So we try to slide the feather out. Yeah, it pops out quite easily. Mm-hmm. Put it in my basket and then and then it's a really long way down really long way down <laughs> but as we said everything is easier with friends already so <laughs> together the two of you um with a couple of little slips and slides or whatever um managed to to get back down the the tree again with, with your prize um your prize golden feather <laughs> we have one i will put it in my basket for safekeeping <laughs> You can most definitely do that. <laughs> <laughs> and you've collected your fair shiny. 
Half of the half the forest. <laughs> there was no sign of the of the bee a bee lady or anything like that, so I guess maybe it's more shinies. Mm-hmm. Who'd like to pick a direction this time? Who is setting forth? Well, Cop's hungry. So, I perk, chop, perks his nose up and sniffs. Where do I smell food? You are quite sure that just on the wind, you there's an odd whiff of... Is that bread... We go this you, way. You think it's it's bread, that way. yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, it's that way. Wait. Yes, yeah, that way. Okay, and then I'll just. Let's go. We're hungry. <laughs> All right. Well, 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 I'm kind of like floating. In the <laughs> <room>. yeah. mm. <laughs> I'm just scrumbling behind, like, mm, move it. We want food. Get it. What do you do? I just run off to them. <laughs> Chop, are you doing? Is there a kitchen this way? <laughs> you uh, follow um, Chop's nose uh, through the through the forest, and pretty soon you you all be able begin to pick up the smell of of um, bread. By now, Chop, you're also picking up other scents as well, um, like um, cakes. There's something sweet. Mm. It's not it's not just bread. There seems to be cakes and, as well. Um, picking up hints of like cinnamon and and things as well as you as you move forward, and you begin to hear like just chattering now the sounds of like several people or creatures you know talking you can't make it out it's it's in the distance as the as the noise grows and you break out into another clearing and i mean you weren't quite expecting this there seems to be some kind of small um fair or something set up in this clearing it's much larger there are a few brightly coloured striped um, tents and little stalls set up. And there's about um, 50 or so people of different ilks and colours and creeds and creatures and um, <clears throat> all milling about in, in this space. And you can see on um, several of the stalls, indeed, they're... they're um, little cooking stations set up and stuff like that and there seems to just be a lot of baking um going on as you guys step out into the clearing as people are bustling around and um a small um <clears throat> gnome sees you guys um pop out of the well not pop out but yeah walk out of the out of the forest and he comes scuffling off and he goes oh Oh, new people. Are you, you here for the competition? Yes, yes, the competition. What competition? Is there food involved? What, you, what competition? Where have you been living? It's the, it's the Great Bake Off. Can I be a judge? Can we all be judges? Okay. No, we already have judges. It's the same judges every year. But you can take part. Eating or cooking or baking? Is this well, there, there is a small eating competition afterwards, but yes, there is also, you can join. Any of you cook? Yes? Or make? Job. Does, does your book have a recipe for do, baking do things? I, do, do I cook? I cook. I only, I, I cook the best. Well. That's food. What's the price? Let the judges be the decider of that. Mm, they will decide that best. Hmm. I don't you win, you will win the prize. Nice shiny prize. Shiny. 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 I, I, uh, I, I roll up my sleeves, tighten up my apron, pick up my <laughs> ladle and my book, and I just go to like, like the first like stall there is. And if there's someone there, I'm like, 
I just kind of, you know, <laughs> I'll just take over that that that, that back <laughs> My first kitchen. Claim. <laughs> My first one. Um, <clears throat> and anybody else? Oh, also, I want to sign what, up what, for. What was his name? I and he pulls out like a, a little bit of a notepad and pulls a pencil from behind his ear. I need to add him to the to the list. What what was what was his name? I chop. I cook. Chop. I eat. Chop. Oh, and it's a pencil and. Oh. Chop. Right. Okay. Got it. Chop. And you lot. Need any help? Chop. Do you need help? Yeah. Uh, uh, you can yeah. have assistance. That's fine. You want to help? You may help. But I must follow the book. You must the, follow the, the book. The, the, the book. The book. The recipe book. That's oh. best recipe. Okay. That's how. I can read the book. Food. I can try. No, 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 that's secret. That's secret. Oh. Best book. I can help. Should we should we also compete? I have vegetables and mushrooms, but they're not very dessert. I have some pear juice, which may be damaged. We could make carrot cake. Ooh. I have carrots. They're in my basket. We could make carrot tiramisu. I have coffee. No coffee. Oh, why you no coffee? Okay, you may have coffee. Yes. We can make we can make coffee version and no coffee version. Mm. Works. Oh, I don't have coffee. You may have coffee. Book says no coffee. Book <laughs> says no coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no coffee. <laughs> <laughs> the note says, wait, did you say coffee? Mm-hmm. You have coffee? I have best coffee. I have best coffee. We... We haven't had coffee for... Years. You want some? Yes. All right. I shall make you some. But it, I still have I, I, two I mean, pouches. As soon as I smell it, they'll all want some. You can all have a sip? Um, okay. So it's probably enough. enough after this many years, really. Yeah, likely. All right, I'll make you some. You you have so, some water yeah. around here? Yeah, he takes you over to um, a little place where you can set up your, 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 your copy stuff and things like that and have his on his stall. Um, so, Bramble, are you helping Hefe with the cooking? Mm-hmm. And Sloban, yeah. Um, what are you choosing? You're helping with the cooking as well. Yep. Or yep. yep. Okay. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so yeah, you go over and you begin to get prepared. There's already some like basics there, um, kind of ingredients that that you might need set out on the stall. Um, so like the, the flour and, and sugar and, and like the basics for a basic cake and or whatever. Um, and then obviously the extra additions and, and whatnot are all up to yourself. Um, so it's up to you decide that say that the competition kind of is going to start in about an hour. So if you want to maybe get some extra ingredients for it or help or pick whichever recipe you want and stuff like that. Um, that's entirely up to you guys as to what kind of cake are you making or want to make and would you would you want anything else to put in this Ooh. what does the Tell book us, say? you said yeah. you had to follow your book yes yes i i i open book and i look for if there is car cake and so does it have chocolate it. which one would you prefer to make chocolate Fairies, fairy dust. Maybe. I think it's because they had the carrots already. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we had we have carrots. When you got chocolate, then yes. Uh, <laughs> anyway, had fairy juice. So yeah, <laughs> and we can we can put many things in it. We can you know, have garlic and chili. Why not? Oh. Do we have the ingredients? <laughs> <laughs> we may need to find something. And and, yeah. and, and, and I'm, I'm still picking food, but 
And then yeah, I, the, yeah, you do yeah. find the. And, and I just get cake. all a bunch of stuff like, like the way I'm thinking, like carrot cake is always like a cake with like a little bit of carrot in it and full of like veg and you know, it's like a almost like a, a roast in a cake in a way. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's now it doesn't really say there's a book, but creative flair, you know. <clears throat> there was a carrot, yeah. Recipe. There was a carrot cake recipe in your book. This was mm. your grandma. Yep. Yep. She was a partial my, uh, carrot cake. Yep. My uh, my G bar. G bar. You know, like the. <laughs> Likes, likes, uh, you know, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a bit that says love food, and yeah, so, <clears throat> oh, food, love food, food you love, just put it in. <laughs> okay, so do you want any more ingredients? Because you've got a short amount of time to go and get some if you wish. Yep, yep, I'll or go we can get fast forward. Whatever, I can go get whatever I need if I can, if I may. Yeah. So you guys can um, go foraging for. So decide beforehand what it is that you wish to collect. Um, each person, say, collects one thing that you want, and then just roll the two d eight, and it, whether you succeed or not as to whether you find what it is you're looking for. Um, so do you guys head off to just let us know what it is that you think you you're looking for. Do we think? Chop. Uh, just just find. Find find anything tasty. If it tastes good, go get. Okay. If it okay. tastes good, don't get. <clears throat> Just <find> it tastes <laughs> good. Okay, so you guys scramble off into the little bits of woods, not trying to go too far. You see, like those other people foraging for things as well. That it maybe perhaps other people that are taking part in the competition and things like that. So I'm wondering a little further afield. You know, you've got an hour before the you know the, the cooking starts, kind of thing. So. Um, while you guys are rolling your 2d8s, uh, we'll just do a 2d6, sorry. I don't know why I keep saying 2d8. Roll your 2d6. <laughs> uh, we'll just go with a flat a flat success, yeah or nay. In the meantime, um, over by the little coffee counter, you've, you've you know, pulled out your beans. And, and how, do you, how do you go about making this, this best coffee? Well, yeah. first I get my water, and then I have my beans. And I look around to see if I can find a nice flat stone. Is there a nice flat stone mm -hmm. in my near you vicinity? One. You can find one easily. Oh. Yeah. So I, I look around and I see a nice flat one, knock on it for a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, that one sounds good. And I just barely able to pick it up because, you know, it looks flat and, and light, but it's actually quite heavy. So yeah. I just pick it up and bring it back to the stand. And <laughs> <laughs> All right. It wobbles for a bit, and you think yeah. what it's gonna give, but it, it stays. It stays. Yeah, exactly. And then I find another flat stone, which is a little bit smaller, and it put those. Okay. I grab my coffee beans, mm -hmm. and I just put them on the big flat stone. Grab the other one, and just flop, and I just <laughs> smash it into bits and pieces, and just go stand on it and dance for a little bit to make sure that all the bits and pieces are crushed <laughs> nice and fine. Uh, so I just stand there, um, and and at some point I just drop off and, and lift the stone up for a little bit and be like, hmm. <laughs> looks fine enough. And whatever granulated granulated coffee I have, I put in my little mocha pot because I always have it with me. Um, and then I put water in it as well. Several people and have started to wander over and. Curiously, see yeah. what you're up to. A few of them have cottoned on to what it is and they're starting to get a little bit excited. <laughs> and I, I walk around my little stand and just look up. Does anyone have fire here? Oh, yeah. And this little kind of like, um, it's a bit of a sprite. It's flying, it's flames coming out of its, its head, which is supposed to be its <laughs> hair kind of thing. And it's, it always just looks like a bit of a flame with kind of like around head and arms and things like that. And it floats over and just kind of, um, where do you want it? Where do you want it? Eh, yeah, somewhere over here. I don't know. Can I put the top pot on your head otherwise? I mean, it oh, needs heat. a bit rude. 
I don't know. Can we? In the meantime, one of the other members of the crowd has scrambled off and like pulled together some like twigs and things like that and made up a little bit fire. And then the sprite was like, ah, yes, yes, good, and just goes <gasps> like that. And first, the flame flies out and whoop, the kindling sets on fire. It's like, there you go. Nice, thank you. Well, I put the little pot on there, and then it's just a matter of you know waiting for a little bit. Um, and I just scurry around for a little moment to see if I can find little glasses so uh, everyone can have their sip of coffee. I don't know if I find them. <laughs> if you find what, sorry? Little glasses so I can pour sips into them. Oh, right. You notice that several people seem to be, now that the smell has started to waft across, are kind of turning up with little cups. Um, <clears throat> back out in the forest, I uh, chop you can smell the coffee. Now, I don't know if you've ever, you said because no coffee, I don't know whether you've ever yeah. smelt it or had anything to do with it before, but it smells, it's up to you whether you think it smells good or not, but this is, if it, this is beautiful coffee. This is like just a wonderful, rich aroma begins to, to hit your nose. It's up to you whether you think that it's nice or not, but um. uh, for those of you that do like coffee, you can smell this, this rich aroma. Um, and let us know what you got on your on your rolls. <laughs> I got a nine. Ooh. I got a six. I got a four. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, Slobang and uh, Chop aren't really able to find anything that they that they think would be tasty in it. A, a couple of things, but then. You, you go to pick up one mushroom that you think looks quite nice or something and, and one of the other uh, contestants uh, or one of the other people in the forest nearby just goes, oh, I wouldn't I wouldn't touch that if I were you. Um, and he points at his friend who's got like this kind of like nasty rash on his face and he goes, ah, we, we just tried that. Don't, yeah, best not. Um, but Bramble, you do find something that you consider or think would be really tasty to put in the cake. And so what would that be? What Garlic. Garlic. Excellent. I put so my you... own garlic. <laughs> Fantastic. So you come back to your, um, you come back to the table and you can see now that um, Copy's got quite a crowd around uh, the little table that she's been given to set up to, to make this coffee. Um, and it, the, the smells now mingling with the smell of um, bread and cake from the stalls that are just set up selling snacks um, for the day kind of thing. <clears throat> Hi guys, found anything interesting? I did it! I have garlic! Ooh. Shh. Don't tell anyone! It's a secret ingredient for our cake. Okay. <laughs> All right. Of course, that is All not right. the adults to cross the clear. <laughs> I, I, I smell something. I don't know what it is. So I follow the scent, not knowing what it is. And and I see, like I don't know. I I try and like um figure out what it is because chops never really even smelt coffee, let alone drink it. Yeah. And so he's uh, here. He's like, "What's the smell?" Yeah, mm. you follow your nose and you realise it's coming from um coffee stall. Sorry, I'll get around to remember these character names. Yeah. <clears throat> Seems we've gone uh, in quite a bit of interest. Um, and he, um, not really knowing, uh, they're saying that there's like there's like coffee grounds like in places. Hmm. Where he's, so he kind of like makes his finger and puts on and tastes it, and and as soon as it does, like. He's just like, this is starting to get all the shakes. And he's like, okay, okay, so, so, let's go, let's go, let's go. And he goes in the kitchen and he just 
start. <laughs> um, at this point, um, Cobby, you realise that oh, maybe she got a couple of those ultra caffeine beans in there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, oh, oh! This is the wrong pouch. <laughs> uh, Chop, are you all right there? I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not sure if you want to put some of this coffee in your cake. No, 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 no. What? Oh, you can, you can, for sure, for sure. Oh, okay. I thought <laughs> I thought you said it was coffee. <laughs> 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 uh, and yeah, he just he's like he just starts cooking. <laughs> What it is, doesn't know. <laughs> when you just lost all, he's just <clears throat> making yeah. something together. Um, Unfortunately, you yes, they they call the the competition to start, and the, all the competitors take their position on their um, little stalls, and you have like um, a, a set amount of time to to prepare the dish in and stuff like that, and then however long obviously it takes for the for the cooking. Um, but whatever it is you're making is not supposed to take any longer than um, two hours, say for instance, in this um, <clears throat> in this world. So how else is anybody helping um, with Hefe? And you can see that the, the judges have kind of taken their seats at this little table. There's, there's four of them. Um, one seems to be a, a, a rabbit. Another one is a, um, a another gnome. There seems to be quite a few gnomes um, around here as well. There seem to be one of the more common creatures um, that are at this at this gathering. Um, there's also um, what well, looks like maybe it's a dryad. They're kind of sort of humanoid, but there, there's flowers and, and twigs and things growing out from them and stuff as well. Um, and another one appears to be a, a fox. Uh, the judges have kind of like taken their position at the tables um, where they'll be given their and, and on the table in front of them <clears throat> you can indeed see a small um, it's kind of like just a, a small trophy of like a, a, a cake um, on a little stand and sure enough um, the, the, the golden trophy is indeed shining Shiny. in front of them <clears throat> Shiny. Shiny. <laughs> I want to put it in my basket. Shiny, it's, shiny. It's on the table, right? In front of the judges as a surprise for the competition. Chop, you must make best cake. We need shiny. <laughs> so, Choppy begins. And he's giving instructions to his little helpers. Um, you know, you know, oh, oh, beat this till it's nice and frothy, and oh, crush this for me, and you know, so all busy away doing your things under the under the instruction of of chop, um, and uh, the cake pops into the to the little uh, clay oven that the, the little clay ovens that they've got provided, um, <clears throat> and you all kind of sit back to wait and see what happens. So heavy. If you're well, actually. Since everyone's helping, well, everyone roll a 2d6 plus 1. Am I and also if helping? Get, if you wish to, yes. If you would wish to help, you can. Um, certainly once the cooking starts, because um, you've already you've made your coffee now and everybody's had their, their bits and stuff like that. So if you wish to help in the process, of course you can. Um, and if we get at least uh, two successes, then... The cake shall be a success. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, got a, one. I got a seven, and the plus one will be an eight. Yep. <clears throat> I got a five, but plus one would be six. <laughs> I got the six, and with the plus one is seven. <laughs> okay. Yeah, six plus one, seven. Oh, no. Okay. Um, so you could have the success with a consequence if you wish. <clears throat> yeah. What's the alternative like? <laughs> we would, yeah, fail completely, yes. 
16. Can I bribe the judges with some coffee? I still have some left, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you can indeed try and bribe the judges with some coffee if you wish to. <laughs> Do I still have some left from the coffee I brewed If you earlier? have some, sure, why not? All right. <clears throat> um, I, I just... Uh, uh, we, I take the cake and bring it to the judges and tell them we have a complimentary coffee on the side just for you guys. They just pour <laughs> four. It was four glasses, four tiny glasses with coffee and just put them on in front of them. I really hope you enjoyed them. <laughs> and <I> just <laughs> walk away trying to be as subtle as I can. <laughs> um. <clears throat> They kind of like look a little uh, suspiciously at you as you as you do this, but then they get kind of a whiff of the of the coffee, and um, indeed, it um, you can see them brighten up a little bit as they they, they you know they get a little bit of an extra extra sip. Um, so yeah, so indeed, the judges all you know tuck into all the the various cakes and things like that that come out, and yours is. It looks delicious. Um, it has a very conflicting set of smells um, about it. The garlic completely wards with the with with the, the coffee flavor, um, but the, the carrot the carrot kind of binds it binds it all all together um, into something that. I mean, I'm assuming you taste it. it is. Uh, chop. Yeah. You yeah. Oh yeah. What you oh yeah. I, 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 <laughs> oh yeah. I I I do like on as a cook and taste test and as I'm going, um, like even even like the ingredients I like take a bite of and put it in if they're good enough. <laughs> um, and 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 once it's done, like like the cake's there. I take a big chomp on it. <clears throat> Tastes fine. And then and I head it to the table with a big. But Back, the consequence. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It does. But we put the. You already had a little bit of the coffee, and you put the coffee in the cake. And <laughs> at about this time, that you you maybe realise precisely why your Gma Mavis didn't like coffee. It's not so much that she just banished all trace of coffee. It was that coffee so much really didn't like her. As your stomach begins to painfully. Oh. Grumble. As you take the cake over to the table of your stomach, oh. grumbling, it's just a little bit of sweat starting to, to oh. meet and form on your brow. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Hey. Hey, hey, go judge. Is cake. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they take the cake out. You just see the predicament on your face. They take the cake and sort oh. of the, the fox who was sitting the closest to you. So the kids and those away just waves a paw. Yeah. They take the yeah. cake. I, I turn right. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, no. I, I, I go and try and find like a, an outhouse somewhere. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. So the judges, after they've um, they've tasted all the cakes and all the contestants are kind of standing around waiting patiently and things like that. Um, and uh, Chop comes back eventually, um, feeling a little better. <clears throat> and the winner is announced um, as the the hare stands up. And he realizes she's quite an old an old hare. She's got bits of grey across her muzzle um, and and grey on the on the tips of her ears and stuff like that. Um, but she has quite a kindly a kindly face as she stands up and she says, "Well, we have decided." <clears throat> the winner of the competition this year, and I must admit it was, we, we did this because it, well, it was bold. Um, the the flavours were, were definitely nothing we'd experienced before, but 
it was a bold choice. And well, we, we appreciate boldness here. And to be fair, it actually wasn't as bad as it smelled. And the, the, the winner, as he picks up the, the trophy from the uh, table and she goes, chop. <clears throat> Good chop, chop. You did it. Nice one, chop. Chop is, chop chop is currently you? not there. He's still in some outhouse. <laughs> Doesn't even know his one. It's like, uh, what did I eat? <laughs> we can't accept the the shiny on Chop's behalf. <laughs> can I have the rest of the food? I know it fucks up your stomach, but I'm still hungry. Need all of it. I'll go to the bathroom. <laughs> Funnily enough, it doesn't quite affect you because I think you've had coffee before. This was, yeah, this is very particular, unfortunately, to, to Chop's um, family. It's news, it's hereditary. <laughs> Poor Chop. Um, but yes, yeah, so Make one bellies. of you can go up and accept the... They, they'd all seen that you were where you were together as a, as a team, as it were. <clears throat> So we go up and collect the um, the prize from from the hair who hands it over to you and, and shakes your hand and they're probably surprisingly soft as you shake it. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Helen, congratulations and, and well done. Hopefully we'll see him again next year. Oh, I will, I will, I will. I would put it in my basket until he gets back from wherever he went. Excellent. And with that, um, she sits back down and people kind of disperse and a few people start up playing musical instruments um, in, in places. And you can tell that this is now the, the more social part of the, of the fair, now where people begin to gather around a couple of fires and just and socialize with each other now that the you know the competition and the excitement as it were is kind of over this is now where everyone settles down and has a few drinks and chats and dances and things like that <clears throat> okay we're like two shinies done one more to go um i go and try finding the smartest person that's talking or hanging and i ask him hey where can I get more shinies? <laughs> Who did you ask, sorry? I try seeing someone, I try looking for someone smart. What, are, what is like the audience, like someone that looks like they work in a library or something, that they're smart. <laughs> smart. <laughs> you, you see um, what looks like a, a rather, um, well, an owl with a small little wire rim spectacles just balanced on the edge of their beak, yes. As they're sat there, you're twisting their head around 180 degrees to get a good look at what's going on. It's very peculiar. Surely that should snap. Ooh. <clears throat> I go close to him and like start, ooh, ooh, to get his attention. <laughs> Does he pay attention to me? Is it this? <laughs> I could not hold it like. <laughs> The, the, the head turns towards you and the big eyes just blink several times and they go, who do you think you're talking to? Uh, sorry, sir, I got that persisted. Um, um, could you give us a moment of your time? Certainly. Uh, me and my other goblins are trying to find shinies and you look smart. Can you tell us where shiny goes? Shinies? Shiny objects. Some weird beast talk us into getting them. We're trying to find them. I don't know, just follow it along. So. Son, I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, I tried getting Shadow Phoenix, uh, uh, Golden Cake. Can you explain to him? I, I, I'm wondering the spectacles of the owl, are they looking shiny? No. Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll try to explain to the owl. Well, we met this group of bees. They said they were a guardian of this forest. And they told us indeed to collect 
shiny thing. Like 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 the trophy we just obtained. Do you know other things that look as shiny as the trophy? Uh, trophies? Just gold? Uh, not even real gold, you know. And I mm. don't think it's that shiny. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm out of ideas, man. Say, um, well, thank you for your time. Then I go back to the goblins. Have oh, oh, also, um, I'm pretty sure bees don't talk. I mean, I've okay. never come across one, and I've been in this forest for, oh, how many years is it now? Oh. And he kind of puts his head down to one side and starts to think, and you realize that he's forgotten you're there. Uh, well, thank you. Um, we may have gotten some bad mushrooms or something. We just appeared in the forest. Um, I tried finding Danny and Hef. <clears throat> Are you out of the bathroom already? Yeah, yeah. I have coming out from the the wet closet, yes. Um, and walking about, whew, do not go in there. <laughs> what did I eat? Oh. Oh. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. Did it's we win? Late. Uh, yeah, we won. Can you show him the trophy? It's in my basket. Yeah. It's, it's shiny like it's a feather. And I think oh. that means we collected it. Oh. But still no bees. But then the bees want the shiny trophy that we did not take. No. No. Oh. We win that. We win. We best. We chop. We cook. We you, you were right, Chop. You best cook. It was we, good. We best because... It was easier with friends. The power of friendship. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, we talked to this owl, smarty looking owl, and he told us that bees do not talk. So yeah. I think we were kind of drug or something. Or having a full vision, all of us, I don't know. But it made sense at the time. And, and these are shiny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shiny good. Yeah, shiny. Shiny. Got some shiny. So, so we don't know how many more shinies we need for the three. Beach. I had the idea there were three. That was not mentioned. Nobody asked. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> I think we should have asked that. It would have been smart. Smart. Um, we find enough, it will be fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that means we need to, I don't see any other shiny sheep, but it does look like everyone's having a good time. I was. <laughs> having a good time in the closet? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Do, do I have an antidote to help Chop no. get rid of the caffeine somewhere in my pocket? Um, this is, uh, probably not, because this is peculiar to you. You've never met anybody that's had this kind of... It's just coffee. I mean, that's, that's so bad, you know? Like, nobody's mm. ever reacted to coffee like this before. Mm. This is very strange. <clears throat> um. I sleepy now. I chop, I sleep. I sleep. You guys should take a, a like, it didn't um, say how long you had to, you know, you could take a, a short little a nap break if you wished um, and set out again after your naps if you do so desire. Um, <clears throat> this is a good clearing. There's plenty of people around. It'd probably be quite safe for you guys to, to curl up somewhere. Um, and have a nap if you want. Yep. You go lay down, chop. <laughs> I chop. I sleep. 
are declining and finding things made me very tired too. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's tough. So this is caffeine crash and uh, falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, you guys all follow suit and have a little well-deserved nap. Um, when you wake up in the, the morning, the clearing has been cleared. Um, there's indentations around of like where the stalls were and things like that. And a couple of things that people have left behind as they've been packing up and stuff like that. Um, but you guys seem to have, to have slept through um, or whenever it was they packed up and left. You're not entirely sure, but... <clears throat> Oh yeah, you check. You've still got all your belongings and everything like that, and and your trophy and your shinies. Okay, let's see. What do we have that we can use? I have uh, the dagger that I gave you, uh, juice, and three wooden buttons. That's useless. What do you guys have? Are any of them shiny? I still have my pot. I still have some coffee left, but I suppose I shouldn't give Chop some. Hmm? What do you mean? I've not had coffee. I don't have coffee. No coffee. <laughs> Chop no coffee. Hey, Since hey. you did. So where are you guys heading off to now then? <clears throat> are we just picking another direction or...? Do, I, I start just looking around. Do I see something that interests me there seems to be a small um <clears throat> like path as it were it's probably where the people maybe came in and left from there were a couple of them um not so much like laid out paths or anything like that but obviously just areas where people have walked reasonably um frequently enough to like you know, make a, a path that's easier to get through than other places, as it were, kind of thing. Um, I, I see a path thing over there. I mean, we we could just check it out and see if we encounter something interesting. Let's go. Yeah. Or I can spin around in a circle with my eyes closed and then go, forward is clear! Also fine on me! I nod, but at the same time, I take her and I just pull her forward. So she goes in a circle, but continues moving forward. So can actually get forward. So I was spinning in a circle toward the path. Just go, just go. And I hear the uh, cry of break time. So time freeze. Your animals <laughs> now go in place. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you may take a small bio break and uh, I will stand here and tell everyone what's coming up in the next time, uh, the next, uh, well, sections of the uh, show as we go all the way through till, well, the morning with uh, Mara and Janet. So let's just bring up the thing. If uh, I will now just uh, drop you all back into the um, backstage. And uh, yes, thanks for staying out with us. As I say, it's, uh, the goblins have a few shinies. It's hair-breaking moments. Uh, I mean, tea could be spilt as well as coffee. Um, we're, we're unsure what other bait goods are going to turn up. I mean, it really is anything goes. I mean, Marmite? Do we think Marmite could appear? I'm hoping not, but it could turn into a horror game. I'm, I'm, I'm not braced for it. <laughs> Right, while well, everyone goes and refills their coffee apart from Chop slash Hefe, um, yeah, um, Lawrence Schlick, that is the person that Janet is going to be having a talk with at 7 o'clock uh, UK time. I'm not sure exactly what it is around the rest of the world, but yeah, 7 o'clock in London, it'll be the, I say, the rest of the world, look for that time. Yeah, the um, Elder Scrolls uh, Lore Master is probably the one everyone's going to have the biggest hat. He's also currently working for Larian, doing Baldur's Gate 3. And I don't know if you've played the new Baldur's Gate 3. Um, it's awesome. Um, I played Divinity 2. It's a really fun role-playing game. You can talk to all the animals and dead people, which, you know, it's a, not something a lot of other games have had. Uh, you know, strange bunny rabbits or chipmunks turning up and helping you solve the adventure. 
it's a new take. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on. And obviously, he's bringing all of his Forgotten Realms knowledge and everything else. I mean, the man is a Swiss army knife of role-playing games and computer role-play. Um, like many people in the transition out of... Uh, well, out of the RPG industry because there was just a massive move uh, for a lot of the big hitters into the computer games industry because it's fun, it's another evolving art form. And yeah, his uh, his list of games is pretty damn... I and mean, his list of companies is massive as well. I mean, I haven't got them all down with me. I'm just uh, going down. But yeah, back in 1991, he already had, uh, like, was working with Microprose and a hell of a lot of other credits. And he's done nothing but pick up massive, uh, massive things since. Um, the depth of his knowledge is just ridiculous. Um, as I say, he wrote the Wikipedia version or the offline version of Wikipedia. Well, I say I went to Wikipedia and tried to find the history of role-playing games. It's nothing like already existed. It's just the demand's outstanding. You're gonna want to be there. You're gonna want to ask questions. Um, I'm really excited about it. And after that, we have Katoipoi, who's already in the chat, and uh, yeah, um, he's going to be doing. I'm not sure exactly which uh, which adventure is such at the moment. Um, I think I've got it listed. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm hoping it's the crocodile one, <laughs> but that will be under Morrow's uh, excellent guidance when the Americans all wake up and join us properly. Or although I've already dragged the East Coast Americans out of bed far earlier, um, yeah. So that's going to be another session, similar structure to this. There will be small breaks, um, but uh, yeah, um, that's yeah, and that goes on until. Um, at midnight, or as I say, 7 uh, a.m., uh, sorry, 7 p.m. ET, so is that, is that East Coast time? I think it's East Coast Daylight time at the moment. Um, that's going to be the George Sanders encounter building. Um, and, yeah, George Sanders is, I've, on Twitter, I say, really interested in following some of his work and his short fiction stuff with the... Um, very short stories that uh, you know Fox was uh, pioneering. Going that his works on that's been excellent, and yeah, he's wor he's worked with the Wizards of the Coast um, last year in Adventure Eight for he was featured and so works with the DM Guild quite uh, thing. Just a lot of publishing there. He's got a lot of knowledge. If you want to work anything in the DM Guild, I know he's got loads of experience. But yeah, just as a working full time GM, well, I don't know about full time GM. Um, I'm not sure if he adds another thing because he's got a lot of feathers in his hat um <laughs> he runs a lot of projects but yeah it's uh, as a professional gm he's gonna have a lot of interesting stuff about encounter buildings more importantly consistent encounter buildings with lack of prep time um because you just sometimes need to pull things out and you if you're a professional you're not always uh, able to just do a fun you know you just do that off the books thing people have turned up for a product so you've got to turn out that product on time to a high quality and he does it, so he's going to tell you how he does it, and you're going to want to listen. Um, yeah, it's it's as I say, it's it's an experiment we're doing this. Do tell us what you think about this day and what type of things you'd like to see in future, because obviously, Adventure Eight Four and Play May, they're interesting. You just don't find a lot of things based around that. You find a few like one page stuff, but a place to kind of talk about designing RPGs in the uh, you know, and then getting them out and getting them played and play tested. There's not many venues to do that. So we're looking at to have feedback and improve this all the time. So yeah, drop it in the chat, drop it in the discord, tell us on social media, hell even tweet about the comedy goblins. It's um, this is all an early experiment and we're looking at things and we just want to make sure what type of things people actually want to see. And uh, yeah, and, and also have loads of fun and invite guests you want to have and talk about stuff you love, which is, yeah, that's why I'm here. So uh, my excellent little Cthulhu bug. I was very impressed with this. I got this for a birthday present. Very impressed. But yeah, um, do think about questions you've got later on for uh lawrence schlick if possible and just put them in the uh chat now i will collect them for later because um you might have time just go out on google check out some of the stuff that's done and you will find you know just the man's done a lot <laughs> 
And if you wanted to ask an expert in the industry about a variety of things, it's time to get the the topics in now, especially if they're more complex, because we the more complex ones you can't answer off the cuff. So some of them we'll get to submit before time. So yeah, do do ever think about what kind of things you want to ask. Otherwise, it's just going to be me in the chat going through this, going, "Why the hell did you decide to document every module, every expansion?" That's massive undertaking in a time before the internet. And it's like, <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just really impressive, and you've got to you know, the connections has made. I believe he's the only man to have worked with Gary Gydax and Sid Meier. <laughs> it's like, so there's a, yeah, it's uh, it's it's, oh, it's just amazing. I can't go over how much I'm excited about it. So I'm hoping some of the hype is uh, going to be joined on that. Let's see about uh, if any of our people have returned yet. No, no, no. The goblins have uh, are still currently off doing things. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so what kind of things did uh, people take away from the ECC books talk? Is that enough C's? Always normally the joke is ECC, CC, CC, CC books, but it's not. So I think it's only two C's. But um, yeah. What kind of things would you want to hear if that was extended? Because I know um, one thing that uh, E. Christopher Clark is doing is looking at the seminar and see what to expand on on his own Twitch channel. So he's going to be taking some of the seeds that he like planted today and going away and doing like little like half hour write ups on um, different topics, and then he'll just pop it up and then he'll throw it up on a vod. So yeah. It's definitely something to watch, and yeah, so to get feedback. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, I think I know, almost people back now. Everyone's relaxing. So yeah, also again with uh, George, if you submit them, I will get those uh, questions through tomorrow. So when she comes on the shift as such, <laughs> and uh, takes over running this. Uh, strangey strange and crazy boat um again can the the lo the earlier we get the questions the more we can think about them pitch them to the guests and you know and the guests can get around with answering a better thing because if you're asked a quick fire thing you can bet like two minutes later you'll be like no my perfect answer is actually this and if i'd had more than a second while my head was spinning around you get a better answer but it's um yeah Okay, let's uh, jump back. I shall go and ask how people are in the green room. Of course, everyone's probably got part of the stream in. You can't have too many things running or everyone's internet gets upset and cries. <laughs> Right. Yeah. No. No. People are looking like they're all coming back and things like that. But uh... yeah, actually, I'm going to have to look, have a look if they're actually electronic versions of these because I did get them on a Kickstarter and they're they're pretty cool for the one there. But yeah, the uh, yeah the uh, the storytellers uh, dictionary. I say James M. Ward, pretty famous name there. Taking a dip in. If it's the same James M. Ward. Uh, Involved with um, oh Metamorphosis Alpha? No, not Metamorphosis Alpha. What was the very first space RPG game? It's about being trapped on a generation ship. I'm pretty sure it's it's not Project Alpha. It's not Metamorphosis Alpha. It might be, but yeah. Anyway, he's one of the writers on there, and uh, yeah, another part of the old guard that just does nothing but RPGs through and through in their blood. Yeah, I'll find the electronic version so it can sit on my MacBook when I'm doing other things. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that's another thing about switching to longer streams. Everyone worrying about their Bluetooth stuff running out of juice. <laughs> you definitely, I definitely think it's something to have like two of in future. So when this uh, comically goes at some point during this stream and you start hearing yourself doubled back. <laughs> Yeah, so things to learn in future. Have two copies of your headsets unless you've got some really cool expensive ones that last like several flights. So I will now drag back our goblins to hopefully find more shinies. Hey. 
Okay, goblins, go find those shinies. See you <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, so we join back with our um, our party of goblins who are now nice and rested after the adventures of the previous day, tree climbing and cake baking and they've got two shinies under their belt and they're all excited and raring to go. So you follow along this little, what looks like a like an animal trail or something like that that's maybe used by perhaps deer or something like that. So it's <clears throat> it's enough for you guys to walk through um, reasonably kind of unhindered. Um, and you hear uh, like this... Is that snoring? It's really, really, it's, it's, it, yeah, someone, it's like a chainsaw. Um, just up ahead off to, to the left. <clears throat> well, you can see the, the, the ground starts to, to slope um, slightly. Do you guys hear that? Out, out there, on, there, 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 somewhere. Should we? Loud. Yeah. Should we look? Well, yeah, we we'll have a look. Yeah. I, I, I thought that was me again, but no. Nope. <laughs> 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 you need some coffee. No coffee. <laughs> no coffee. And no more coffee for chop. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, what do you mean more coffee? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no coffee. Don't Just no coffee. <clears throat> so you guys follow the sound of the of the snoring, and um, it doesn't seem to get too much too much louder. So obviously, it wasn't that far away. And you scramble up this little rise, um, and when you you come to the top, there's kind of like a little um, a bit of a, a dip. I think a ravine, so maybe it's a small stream or something ran through here at one point because it's kind of like the banks are there, but <laughs> the, the the base is, is dry. The river was redirected or dried up um, many many years ago, but kind of on the on the opposite side of the of the bank, and it, it's only like a short maybe it's five foot um, drop down these little embankments. Um, there's what was the roots of a, a large tree that have kind of like created a little space in the embankment in between the roots and curled up inside this <clears throat> um, large space is what looks like a very small dragon. Um, it, it's When I say small, it's small for a dragon. Um, it's still probably the size of like, you know, two goblins. It's probably a two gobliner. Um, but yeah, that's from what you guys have maybe you know, heard of dragons and things like that. This is quite small. So either it's a type you've never seen or perhaps it's just a, a, a youngster or something. Um, you can see that its scales haven't like, <clears throat> you know, formed like the the pointy hard edges uh, that a normal dragon would have and the the horns that they sometimes have that come from their head they're, they're quite short and, and nubby so you get the impression that this is probably quite a young a young dragon but even so the snoring sounds that are coming out of what is a reasonably small creature are quite quite loud um we are quite sure somewhere there's a twinkling in amongst where that dragon's killed you're quite sure that it's shining. Even my grandmom's mom doesn't snore that loud. Should <laughs> we wake him up? What is that shiny? Is that shiny? Under the belly, like smog. Big dragon. Mm -hmm. Treasure. Mm -hmm. Shiny. Do you think we can grab it without it waking up? Does will it they, sleep as deep as it snores? Will it eat chop? We should we should tell it chop don't taste good, don't eat chop. Oh dragons eat chocolate? I tried to eat chop. I don't taste good. Mm. I think I can I think my head would fit. 
Well, you're going to have to be very quiet. Very quiet. As, as small maybe, as sneaky. Maybe, maybe dragon's friendly dragon. I could wake it up and ask if we could borrow a shiny thing. Ooh. Okay, Chop, you go do. I go do that. <laughs> I will okay, wait so over here behind this tree. <laughs> What? I'll, I'll just go around the group and see what each one is, is thinking um, as well. So, um, Bramble, what's, what's Bramble thinking? I am thinking, don't wake up the dragon and hide behind this tree. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll have my magnifying glass out so I can see the shiny closer. <laughs> <laughs> you dart a duck behind a tree. Something on that, so it's pretty sure you can't be seen, and then you poke out, and that's one goblin here sticking out from behind the trees. You look, and and you can see what looks like a it's just a single large gold coin that seems to be shining quite brightly, kind of like tucked up. And and you can see that this is it's like a it must be a baby dragon, you know, and this is its its first hoard or something. It's it's a singular golden coin that it's got um tucked up. Chop, what, what's Chop's ideas of how to approach the situation? <clears throat> well, Chop's idea is to ask Dragon if Chop may follow Shiny and not eat me, please. Because <laughs> I do not taste good. You won't like it. Um, Slovan, what, what were your thoughts on how to approach this? I've been looking at the jazz of the dragon and his entire head and like, would my head fit inside? <laughs> Could he eat me like those kind of dumb thoughts that, okay, uh, but like if they, it, it wakes up because I feel like Chop is going to wake him up, maybe he will like my dad puns. Maybe. Uh, I so yeah, for the, the make him laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Copy, what? I what think we think? shouldn't wake the dragon. I think he will find us tasty, even though we will say that Chop doesn't taste good. I think it would be more wise to be small and sneaky and try to pry out this gold coin, but if the rest wants to wake him up, I'll just, you know, stay in the back a little bit. And just peek. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so which route are we going for? We seem to have two for not waking the dragon and two for waking the dragon. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> Do you try stealing? And if it wakes up, we talk to him. Sounds good. <gasps> we could be the distraction. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. I will try to. Um, sneak up to the dragon and try out his gold coin, being very small and very sneaky. I will I will leave my mocha pot with Bramble. <laughs> Please take good care of this. I don't want it to die. It will be safe in my grandma mom's basket. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so you're going to <laughs> do very sneaky and try to sneak up and steal the coin and um, Chop and Slobang are perhaps now he's going to approach from the other side and if the dragon wakes, try to engage it and distract it in, in, in conversation and stuff. Right, yeah, everyone? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, <clears throat> copy. Yeah. I uh, use the use small, that small and sneaky. So that gives you a plus one. I rolled a seven, and that becomes an eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Copy just stands there and stares at this sleeping baby dragon, and she goes, "I can do this. I can do this. I can do this." And she just start, you know, tiptoeing towards the dragon, just <laughs> checking its head every now and then. All right, I. Stop. You can see like the way it's sleeping. So imagine it's like curled up kind of with like its nose and then its tails kind of, you know, curled around onto the tip of its nose kind of thing. And the coin is is 
is between like its belly and, and and its feet kind of thing. Is it's it doesn't seem to be clutching it tightly, but as it's as it sleeps. And the snoring continues um, as you you walk forward. You're quite sure that you've probably stepped on a couple of twigs. You know, you felt it, but you can't really hear it over the over the snoring of the the dragon. And you quietly, quietly, quietly sneak forward, and um, and you reach forward with your hand and a loud comes from dragon Lisa. But then it kind of mutters and just starts the snoring back again. And you slowly, slowly pull the coin out from between the dragon's uh, belly and its paws. Everyone who sees this, so far the dragon hasn't stirred. I just turn around and hold up the coin. I got it. I just... <laughs> Put it back and then try to sneak out of <laughs> back into the forest. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I pass fairly close towards the nose and I just, you know, take a half second to just look at this baby dragon and be like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> as you get up close as well, you realize that it, it, it must be quite a, a, a young one. It still has a little bit of pointy... Um, bit on its beak it's starting to to recede now but the little bit that they would use you know to break through the to the egg kind of thing and the, the egg tooth or whatever it is kind of thing um it's still got a little a little bit of that left um <clears throat> and the dragon sleeps on through these goblins who have come along and stolen its its very first hoard um <laughs> I have this coin and I just walk up to them. <laughs> and um, yeah, you all just decide to sneak um, quietly off in the opposite direction. Um, with your third shiny, and uh, that's three tags we've used now, isn't it? Yeah, easy your friends, more sneaky, and actual confidence. Yeah. <clears throat> how, how big is the coin? Does it fit in my basket? Um. Yeah. It's it's about like you know, yeah, big, um, kind of thing. You realize now that it's not so much a it's a coin as it's a more of a disc. Um, it's got some strange like iconography on it, but you're not. It's not anything that you've seen before. Um, <clears throat> but it's definitely like quite heavy, so it must be... I think it might be real gold. But it doesn't matter. The point is that it's shiny. Um, <laughs> as if it's in your basket. Like, <laughs> it is in my basket. Yeah. <laughs> like the feather and like the the trophy that, that we won. <laughs> we have and you guys, one. as you all sneak back off, um, away into the forest. Um, you, you're going on for another ten minutes or so before you, you know, you think you can start making some noise or anything. And just as you're about to turn to talk to each other, you hear a uh, the snoring stops. Cause it's been going on this whole time, and then you just hear this sorrowful, mournful. <laughs> Like cooing cry, echo Aww. through the forest, <laughs> um, filled with with loss and desolation. Maybe, I'm maybe, so sorry. <laughs> maybe I should turn back and tell the dragon that we're just borrowing it for a moment. We're not stealing. Thank you so bad. <laughs> Are we not stealing? Who knows what the bees are going to do with this Ooh. stuff? We should tell the dragon that the bees want it. We can, He's we going can to blame the bees. It's not us. It's the bees. And then, hmm. and then maybe the dragon can get it from the bees. It's a baby dragon, and like hmm. babies, he's going to do a tantrum oh. with fire oh. and claws and teeth. Oh. So let him cry <laughs> away from us. <laughs> Bank. Just let it cry. <laughs> so sad. Well, I don't want to be food either. 
Top top tastes good. <laughs> Zero out of ten. Do not recommend. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> then don't you have better give it back. We should tell the bees to give it back. Hmm. Yeah, it's the bees' fault. Not the bees. You told but, the bees. But later, we'll, we'll tell the, the bees, bees to with come their, back The bees we'll with their bees' knees. Run away from this tantrum, because that did not sound fun. Slow bang. That did not sound funny. <laughs> maybe maybe we, we could try find these bees then. We got shinies. Mm -hmm. We should find the bees. Yeah. So we should search for a hive. And where a hive is, is honey. Honey! Ooh. Coffee! No more coffee. I want honey. Still hungry. <laughs> hungry again. Maybe I could sniff out some honey. Sorry. You don't smell anything sweet on the on the breeze. Nothing sweet in the breeze. Do you smell anything interesting? Besides Do tears, I? dragon tears. Ah, uh, not this time. No. Um, you smell the sense of the forest, loam, earthiness, leaves. Smell of some pungent mushrooms, perhaps, but. Nothing out of the ordinary that you wouldn't expect within a forest this time round. I smell trees, not bees. Mm. Hmm. Well, maybe we don't have enough shinies yet. So should we go back the entire long road through the city and the bees and the dragon? We're going to go back to the dragon. That, that is close. We're going to find the dragon again. The beast said that if we stay true to ourselves, the path forward is clear. So if we stay goblin, we can always go forward. And since we're not eaten by dragon, we're still goblin, so we can go forward. Me goblin, me no food. I cannot argue with that logic. <laughs> <laughs> we're not eaten, we're still goblin. <laughs> We're all goblins. What is in our culture? What does it mean to be a goblin? I chop. You chop. You no goblin. I chop. So as you guys are walking and 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 talking, you you begin to hear like a the forest kind of takes on a slightly. Like a darker tinge, as if maybe the, the clouds above have, got, have gone over the sun kind of thing. Um, and uh, the, the forest becomes a little more gloomy. There's more ferns and, and underbrush and stuff like that. And you can hear this kind of... Um, it's like a, a, a sobbing sound, um, but it, it, it sounds peculiar. Um, it's like very dry and, and rattly kind of of crying almost um, and then there's the odd little clatter and is that the dragon again? did, did it follow us and cry more? to keep crying? it doesn't sound like the the same as what the dragon did mm -hmm. Would it be Mama Dragon? Mama Dragon would not be crying. Mama Dragon would be angry. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's see. What, what is it? Let's, let's go. Do you smell go. something from that towards Very that direction? Very quietly. Very quietly. Blum, 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 because blum, I don't blum. want to go near something that will cry and then throw a tantrum and fire. <laughs> So. Goblins are not quiet, are they? No, no, maybe. I can't be quiet. I can't be I can quiet. Be very quiet. <laughs> I can't be quiet saying screamingly. <laughs> <laughs> we go quietly on our tiptoes. 
towards that direction. When my dream ma tells me to be quiet, she tells me to put my finger on my lips like this. Ooh. And you all walk forward with <laughs> your fingers over your lips. <laughs> <laughs> you eventually as you're kind of walking there's no break in the trees or anything yet but as you come like um past a, a tree you can see just sitting on a on a, a fallen an old fallen tree trunk um that's now grown over with like moss and and things like that and, and plants and stuff there is this um well it's a skeleton um and he's well, it you're not really sure. They are sitting on a um, sitting on the, the the tree trunk with like their their head in their hands, and they're making this this dry, rattly kind of of, of sobbing sound. And although they have like no real expression because they have no flesh or anything, you, you get the sense that they're quite upset about something, and they don't seem to notice um, you guys approaching. You were very sneaky. It looks so sad. We should talk to them. It looks like we should make her feel better. Maybe some vegetables will help. Or a joke. Ooh. Oh, yes, make you laugh. Okay. But we're Always speaking. better than tears. You can you can approach him, yeah. That's not a problem. If you start to approach him as you get a bit quieter, he kind of like looks up and he goes, "Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, can I help you?" Hear this out. I'm training for a goblin stand-up. Tell me if it's funny. What are you making fun of me? No, I want you to have fun. You are going that's, to laugh. That's that's. To have fun. That's that's what I was trying to do with that. I can't have fun I'll help anymore you with I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll help you. How can you help me? Because should you find it? Fight my what? funny bone. I lost it. I lost my funny bone. Oh. Look. And he holds up his arm and you can see there's a, a little bone missing from the... And, and without it, I can't... And they, they kicked me out of my troop, and I, I lost it. Oh, now you come along claiming that you're funny, and I don't get... Oh. oh, that's so sad. You know what? I'm really good at finding things. Really, really, really good at finding things. Where did you last see your funny bone? Where did you last laugh? That's where you lost it. Oh. Mm. Well, <laughs> probably down at the at the creek, I th I think. At the creek. Yeah, uh, Sammy slipped and and he and he fell and it was a, a big clatter and well it was it, well, I mean it was funny at the time I, I don't find it f funny now though. That doesn't find too humorous. <sighs> That was a joke. <laughs> okay, you, 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 you. I know. I sh I mean, I know I should laugh. This, but I, I'm sorry. Well, we can go to the creek and and see yeah. if it's still there. You you would do that? Oh, that's. I'm really 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 good at finding things. I can find it. Okay. I could stay with with the uh, what's her name? Skeleton bone person. Oh yeah, yeah. You can call me Randall. Randall. Hmm. Well, Randall, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here, keep me company, keep you smiling. Well, the other lot will <clears> find your funny bone. Although usually I wish I could lose, lose my funny bone because every time I hit it, it really hurts. 
I know it's very strangely named, isn't it? But uh, oh, regardless, it it seems it works. <clears throat> yeah. At least okay, the skeletons. Go let's go to the creek. Which way is the creek? Yeah. Which is out of bony arm and points us off in, in a direction. <clears throat> I, I can't go back the other day. Well, they just laugh at me and... Oh. Well... It's it okay. We will... I, I pat Randall on the shoulder. <laughs> there, there. <clears throat> Thank you. On the shoulder bone. Okay, so... Everybody else is heading off to the creek, or is anybody else staying with Randall? Or no, oh. I'm going. Okay. <laughs> we walk a bit. Do you think he can hear us now, Danny? Do you think he can hear us? We don't need to be sneaky now. Okay, but like, are we so far? I was really tempted to make a boner joke, a boner <laughs> joke for the bone guy, but like, I don't think it would be funny for him. Yeah, I was thinking boner, Thank boner. For us. Yeah. <laughs> mean to him. Yeah. You have a tendency to be mean. You also let that baby dragon cry. I mean, I agree with you. You also let it cry. You were the ones that stole the the gold. Between you, you were, I was shot me. me. <laughs> <laughs> we will you find the bump, and then then you can tell the joke, and and it will be funny. We can also try finding something not shiny but good for the dragon, like a bone for like. Do you think dragons are like dogs that like bones to for the thief? <laughs> you want to give the dragon the funny bone? No, another bone. Oh, okay. From someone not Where? alive or sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, we find this bone first. Yes, yes. Okay, we'll keep walking. <laughs> so you walk down and um, <clears throat> I'm actually sure enough you get to this um, small creek. It's only about a few feet across and um, it's not very deep really or fast flowing. It's more like a little kind of like bubbling brook kind of thing, um, kind of through the, through the forest. And you can see signs. Um, when you get there, that of like a, a camp or something like that. Um, previously, maybe it's a camp that's been used a few times. Um, you can see like the scorch marks and the, and the ring of stones on the ground where obviously the, the, the fire had been. Um, scuff marks on the ground and a couple of logs pulled up around the fire. So you can see that perhaps this was somewhere where there might have been a, a camp and um, <clears throat> a little ruts in the ground as well, perhaps a cart. And you imagine that this is maybe is the this troop that the skeletons spoke of maybe this had been one of their camping places um so this was obviously somewhere that the the skeleton thinks that he last had his funny bone at least this is the last place he remembers laughing at um his friend who fell in the river and fell into a splatter of bones <clears throat> What do you wish to do? So, do you have any idea how a funny bone looks? It looks like a bone. Everything looks like a bone, if it's white and long enough. But maybe the funny bone is shaped differently because it's funny. Oh. If we see a bone and it makes us laugh, then it is funny bone. Okay. So. We will try I to just... find a bone that is funny. Ooh. Do we see a bone? Not immediately, just looking around. Um, you kind of know that the funny bones are, are they're a bit, they're smallish, you know, probably only a, a, a few inches long, perhaps. But I mean, because it, they, you know, they're supposed to be in the arm somewhere. Um, you're not really sure. Um, to be fair, most of you didn't think that funny bones actually existed, but obviously, hmm, probably never met a skeleton before, so who are you to know? Do you know what I mean? Um, 
so yeah, but you're right, it would look, you know, like a bone, basically. Um, so you guys can have a little uh, search about, uh, maybe it's around the camp or the encampment or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> so as you guys are searching around, you, can, you don't really seem to, like, you see any uh, bones or anything like that. There's not much in the way. Um, but as you begin to, you know, move further out, from the encampment and stuff like that, you you hear a, um, um, a strange like um, chipping, chirping, yipping like sounds um, kind of thing. Um, just just up in the like just around the bend of the river, and as you just walk around um, there, you see. <coughs> Well, it looked like a bunch of, of weasels. Um, and they are throwing themselves around in, in mad um, patterns. Um, and in, in, these, in these crazy displays of, of you're not really sure. Um, it, it just looks like they're throwing themselves around excitedly. Perhaps they've just drank like an, seemingly an entire pot of um, Coppy's coffee, perhaps. Um, but you notice that as they're, as they're jumping and leaping around and stuff like that, there's this um, small uh, white object that they seem to be chucking and passing between one another as they leap and, and, and jump and cavort um, on, the, on the small rocky beach next to this river. Ooh, it looks like they're having much fun. What, what are they throwing? What, what is that? <laughs> you look and it could be a bone it looks like the right color um, uh -oh. that might be the funny bone they're having they fun like the funny bone. they are having fun and it is a bone so how do we get the bone I don't want to make them cry by taking so but if it I, is a funny bone. I am, yes. I go Hold to the on. other side and I just start doing wild dance moves while <laughs> trying to juggle whatever I found, some stones, some berries, and like try to distract them while I tell them like, hey, pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> because I have the jumping and juggling thing on my yeah. skill set and the wild dance moves that is a tag. You do indeed. Cross off the wild dance moves. Ooh, so, so we can go get it while they are distracted. I see, I see. Okay. That's right. Throw a dice. <laughs> yeah, you creep around um, the other side and you begin um, jumping on one leg and you find some um, nice smooth um, pebbles. Unless you carry um, balls around with you, that's fine as well. You can use those. Yeah. Um, if you do all your buttons, whatever you wish to, yeah, to exactly. use, there's plenty of like pebbles and things around because it's on a, a rocky riverbed. So there's lots of like smooth stones you can use and stuff as well. Um, and yeah, so give me a 2d6 with a plus a five. two. Five. Is that with the plus. plus two? I got five and plus two, seven. Okay. So would you <laughs> like to succeed with the consequence? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> you begin to um, to do this, and the uh, the weasels all kind of turn to to look and begin to chatter excitedly, and then some of them begin flinging themselves around um, next to you, and as they leap over you as they're spinning, one of them like steals your your one of your stones as it leaps over you and it tosses it to another friend and that friend leaps up and, and kicks it with the hind foot to their other friend and and um and soon you're caught in this this whirling mass of of um weasels who are passing stones and some some come flying towards you and you, you, you're trying to catch them and, and pass them around and they seem to have enveloped you into their um, strange dance. Um, A whistle whirlwind. Whirl, whirl. <laughs> yes. So you're kind of now, um, and as you get in there close, you realise that 
oh, weasels have sharp claws and their dog's teeth are kind of pointy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just started it? running. Trying to get away yeah, you begin trying to to run away, but they seem to think that this is all just part of the dance, and and they kind of follow you, <laughs> leaping around you and over you, and um, <laughs> snatching the, the stones from your hands. And as you try to run and stop trying to catch them, um, they're still trying to throw them at you. So now you're getting pelted with the rocks and the pebbles that you had picked up um, as these uh, as these weasels run with you, and you run off trying to. Uh, trying to escape um, in the in the madness as these um, are a little bit distracted um, one of you noticed that the the bone has kind of um, dropped to the ground and occasionally they drop things and try to pick them back up again so it drops to the ground and then another one might it'll be there for a few seconds another one will pick it up and and, and try to catch it so one of you might have the opportunity to um, try and, and uh, snatch it up because it falls to the ground um, as Slobang runs off and uh, the weasels kind of take chase um, the bone kind of forgotten now that they've got these smooth pebbles to to play with <coughs> so you have the bone but you go? Oh, Slobang's we kind have of the bone. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we have to go. I grab it really, really fast. <laughs> and maybe throw another rock into the party. <laughs> <laughs> they can't have that much good. <laughs> uh, such a baboon. Um, <clears throat> would anybody like to perhaps try and help extricate? Uh, slow bang from the, the weasel parties now become, <laughs> become become a part of or uh -huh. do you is there something that you would like to do to try and make these guys realize that you're not you're not playing anymore you're trying to get away can i try recruiting them <laughs> could be my whistle army your weasel army something <laughs> <laughs> looks like uh there might be a problem um um, so maybe I can <clears throat> distract the distraction. <laughs> I, have, I have mushrooms. I can throw some mushrooms into the fray, and they can find mushrooms. They're softer than rocks. So maybe they will replace the rocks and make it less dangerous. <laughs> Um, you can try and, um, yeah, using, maybe it's not so much words because they don't seem, seem to understand words, but you can definitely try in some fashion and, um, like calm them down either, you know, through, through body language or sounds or however you might like calm an excitable puppy or something <laughs> down, you know, but, well, yeah, you know, uh, slow man can certainly try to. I to have my lute down. with me. Oh? I could play a tune. Just just let me see if I can... Um, what would work to calm these things? And I try to play a calm tune. Oh. You get a plus one to your attempt to calm down these uh, weasels as the calming tunes so in and also now you're getting pelted kind of like with mushrooms instead of rocks it's a little easy to concentrate <laughs> I, I, I roll a an eight so with plus one that would be a nine. Oh no sorry this was for um oh you're you're aiding slobang in his attempt to you know to convince the weasel <laughs> that he's not, he doesn't want to play anymore this isn't a game <laughs> kind of thing you know like let's let's all calm down and be friends. <laughs> so yeah, so you get a plus one from the the calming music that uh, that copy is it. playing. Yeah, and if there's any other tag that you think might might work, I got a twelve. Oh, 
Okay, so double six. You able to double yeah. six? Six, yeah. six. Nice. <laughs> you saw army. Yeah. <laughs> so the tune begins to play, and you find that how oh, this is a tune you recognize. You've heard this this tune before, um, and you kind of begin to now dance and sway along with the tune, and the and the weasels kind of like uh, instead of this crazy just throwing themselves around uh, disjointedly, kind of begin to a little bit more dancing in time with you and, and and kind of like follow the movements that you're making and stuff like that and eventually you've you've got this whole little weasel chorus thing dance chorus thing going on um <clears throat> yeah and they are no longer pelting you with with stones and Woo! trying to do their crazy dancing <laughs> um, but then now they've learned a new dance and they seem quite excited about this so they yeah they now seem quite involved in in this this in this new dance that you okay. have appeared to have, have taught them, um, <clears throat> congratulations! You've taught the weasels a new dance. Cool. <laughs> <Dancing luck. laughs> and you also have the bone. Um, oh, well, at least what you assume is the bone of the of the skeleton. Um, while all this is going on. Um, Chop. Hmm. You're sitting on the on the log next to the poor Randall, who's feeling very desolate. Yeah. So um, I, I I I I just sit with him and be like, so um, have you had any nice meals lately? Mm. No. Last one was about oh four hundred years ago. You don't wanna I still had intestines then. In what? Four hundred You must be really hungry then. maybe I could cook you something. Oh wait, I don't have a kitchen. Uh, and I and I mean I, I don't have a stomach or a, a tongue. Oh. I don't really taste much, to be fair. Ah, but you haven't tasted my Gmar's ultimate chili. I mean that—that's true. I probably haven't. No. So, do you want to try it? Uh, have you got a kitchen? Oh yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, no, 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 it's, it's, there, there. And it, he turns and pats you <laughs> on your shoulder. <laughs> so, seems like it's not the best day for either of us. <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> I mean, you've got your furry bone. I wish I lost mine. I would give you mine, but I don't know where it is. So. Kind of needs to be my own, really. It's... Yeah, I guess mine won't fit. Mm. I think my arm is like shorter than this. Yeah. Plus, it needs to be all complete, you know, for the, the magic to work. Magic? Oh, well, I mean, how how else do you think a bunch of bones stays together? Uh, good point. Hmm. I don't know where it comes from. I mean, I don't really remember much about too much about before. I just woke up one day like this. Oh, I'm guessing there was a lot of time in between. Maybe. Don't know how long though. Hmm. Probably about a day, a month. I don't even know what day it is. Me neither, actually. Oh. Kind of lose track of the days in here. True. Oh, I really hope your friends are able to find my bone. I'm sure they can. The the one with the basket and the magnifying glass, she finds anything. Oh. This one it's a good time. skill to have. Yeah, there was one time we found a big tree. And on top of the tree was this shiny 
thing. No one else could find it except except her. Oh. <clears throat> she didn't really break and started climbing the tree. It inspired me to be big too. So we climbed up and found a shiny feather. Mm. And the bees, you see. Do you know how bees talk? Bees talk. They do? Yeah. Oh. They all talk like Z's and Z's. You know. They all you know, like, we just want some shinies, please. Goblins. Yeah. And so we're like, okay. As long as I'm going to the kitchen and start cooking, because I got hungry. I'm hungry now. Well, oh. I chop, but I'm also hungry. But I chop. Oh, your name's Chop. I'm pleased to meet you, Chop. I chop. I cook. <clears throat> oh. How lovely. Um, well, I used to act in a comedy troupe. Oh. You know, we toured the local graveyards and that, and it was a good gig. Oh. Hmm. Did you? Made our laughs. Yeah, we're pretty good. Pretty good at what we do, to be honest. It's always sold out at the at the venues and that. It's so we could say that you're dead funny then. Huh? See, I know that technically that that's funny, and it was an excellent delivery, it? and yeah, what? it it was. was it? Yeah, oh, that, yeah, that was a good. It was a good delivery. It, I don't know what I mean. And I just, I, I didn't, just what? What was it? Not. Do you think I'm telling? No, I'm not, I'm not, people I'm not are just are just being funny without without I'm, even trying. I mean, I mean, I want. I'm. I'm just trying to. I don't know. Have a conversation. I don't know. You you trying. It's funny. I was just, you know, <clears throat> me. you're dead. Well, you're alive, but dead, and he was funny. It's just accurate. At this point in time, the three of you guys come back to this <laughs> semi awkward <laughs> conversation. I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> we find it. Are the weasels still with us? <laughs> no, they were um, they they solidly practicing their new their new dance moves that they've been taught um, on the beach, trying to make sure they get the coordination right. So so we found it, and it was with a bunch of weasels, and they were having fun with it, and it's a bone, I think. So it's a funny bone. I put it in my basket. Oh, thank you. Well, let, let's see if it's the right one, eh? Is, did he say it was in your basket? <laughs> oh, okay. So he kind of like has a look in and reaches in and, oh, that's, oh, that's it right there. Oh, this is, this. oh, any, how do I kind of slots it back in and it just it just kind of sits there it doesn't really seem to attach to anything but as soon as you put it in the right slot it just you know the magic just sits in there and then he turns to um to slobang and he goes right okay you said before you were funny uh, tell a joke come on we are muted <laughs> How do you call a fish with a bow tie? I don't know. What do you call a fish with a bow tie? A fantastic ensemble. I forgot all my jokes. I got attacked by a couple, a group of whistles. <laughs> <laughs> Which will be funny. And, he, and he, he starts to chuckle, and then he goes, "Oh, oh, I, I think you did it. Oh, that, oh, that, oh, that." Tell me another one. Uh, uh, some help, guys. I forgot. 
Ah, you had one more cut. You had the bony joke. Can February March? No, but April May. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, I mean they're not great jokes, but you know, that's it. That, what? I don't get it. Because it's a month, like April, May, May can be like, if I have to explain, here's another one, here's another one. To the guy who invented zero, thanks for nothing. Oh, no, that, that right was now. a good one. <laughs> oh, I like, oh, I like that one. I think I'm going to remember that one. <laughs> uh, I think, I think maybe a friend here, I think he might have a problem with this one, he won't be honest with the ad. Oh, no. Do we need to find another funny bone? Chop. I have an easy to come by. I mean... Oh. Have I lost my funny bone? I go and bash my elbow or something. Ah! ah, ah. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, well, I, oh, I kind of thank him enough. I can... Hopefully the, the troop won't have gotten too far. I can, I can catch up with them and well, hopefully they'll take us back. I mean, I, I was the, uh, to be fair, I was the best one amongst them, you know, the teller. Oh, I'm so grateful. Here, and he reaches down behind the log and he hadn't noticed before, but there's like a small pack that he's got um, behind him and he, he pulls the pack up and, and plonks it down on the on the log and he opens up and he scrummages around for a bit. Um, and he goes, I'm sure I've got something in here I can give to to, to help, you know, say thank you. Um, oh, wait, here. Ah, yes, this would be perfect. And he pulls out this shiny glass bowl that is in the centre. It's like a clear glass bowl, and in the centre there's just all of these sparkling lights that are shining, and the whole thing shines. Uh, and he goes, I found this, well, I, I, I don't know, I can't remember now, but... Yeah, you said before about something about Chinese. Well, yeah. <laughs> and he, he holds it out. Just shiny. Shiny. Just Quick, put it in your basket. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And <laughs> I'm really <laughs> glad that you are happy again and not crying. <laughs> yes, it's oh, it's much better to, well, to be whole again, as it were. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well... It was nice to meet you, and and thanks. He turns around to uh, chop, and um, holds out a, a bony hand to shake. Just says thank you, thank you very much for keeping me company. It's, I'm sorry I wasn't much fun, but you you, you stuck around anyway. So th thanks for that. Yeah, it's a bum. It's been good to just sit and chat and yeah. Well. <sighs> Thank you all very much again. Um, I'll pop off. And with that, he gives a little skip and a jump. He um, tools off into the forest, back towards the creek where you guys came from, hoping to, to catch up. A little clank and a spring in his step. Goodbye, Randall. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. We, we should go watch the troops. I'm, I bet it would be really fun. Oh, that one. We should find the next graveyard. Mm -hmm. But first, more shinies. But first, more shinies. Yes, we now have we now have four shinies in in my basket. Does anyone hear bees yet? Let's continue walking towards the way we were doing. Yeah, but I really need a cup of coffee. I haven't had one all day. Me neither. I never had a coffee. No coffee. <laughs> I mean, all of that dancing was kind of exhausting, yes? Do you want to take a break and make coffee? Yes, I make coffee. I'll just grab my pot again. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll be sure to use normal beans right now. It's, 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 it's needed. <clears throat> Can 
house make a fire? Um. I, I, I can oh. make fire in often. No, I often can, here. I, I can use my magnifying glass and, and, but it's kind of cloudy. Oh. No fire, no coffee. We could go back to the dragon to see if he can give us some fire. Uh, yeah, no coffee for me, please. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> like the idea, but no, no, no. <laughs> Fine, I can fight this addiction. It's not an addiction. I do not need coffee. Maybe we can find fire in a different direction that isn't made by a dragon. We can keep looking and we will look for shinies and fire. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so where are we heading off to then? Fire. Where fire? You're trying to find some fire. Um, that doesn't come from a dragon. Um, Let's see. Chop, yeah. can you get like up the trees and see if you can see a city or some smoke somewhere? If that's not too much of a bother with your climbing skills. <laughs> yes. I couple knives and you know, and I climb a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the trees here as well aren't as, um, like that last one was just quite tall with a few sparse branches. These ones are, they have plenty of, of, of branches and things like that. And it's a much easier, it's a much easier climb. Um, I realize when you get up here, it's, it's even harder to see kind of than, than down there because now there's just leaves and trees and, and branches and everything in front of your face. So when you, you realize you probably need to get up, yeah, up above the um, the canopy kind of thing, as it were. Um, and the twigs and things up here now are getting, they're getting thinner um, as you kind of, of, of get higher and they're not quite as sturdy as they were when you started. Oh no. <laughs> you oh, can no. do it. You can do it, Chop. Do you want to keep going? Yeah, I keep going. <laughs> you keep going, trying to find the, the the thickest branches you can, and kind of like going with the sway and, and trying to climb from one to one gently as you go up. So you know, there's no sudden movements to snap them or anything like that. And you can you can roll me a two d six. And and I'm gonna be like with all the leaves and be ah ah don't crowd me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> As we read off the don't crowd me tag. <laughs> oh, we lost a person. Oh no, we lost Alejandro. I don't know. Did he have a? An internet dip. Oh, oh he's back. Hey. I got scared <laughs> for a <back>. second. <laughs> they wanted to crowd. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I rolled a nine, so plus one, ten. Ooh, nice. Yeah, you do you do manage. You swing around quite a lot, but goblins aren't really very um they're not really very large creatures and they're not really very heavy. And this is a, a, um, a tree in the prime of its, of its life. So the branches aren't dry or brittle. They're nice and, and strong, even though they're flexible and stuff like that. And you manage to get high enough above to, to look out across the, the canopy of the forest. And it stretches in, in, in all directions. And um, as you take a look, uh, the view up here, it's quite fantastic, actually, because to, to one end, you can see, like, the, the mountains... Um, spread out towards the um the south the southern mountain ranges um that are all cloud topped and stuff like that and um the sun's starting to come out a bit now so there's patches of like light you know the beams that come down through the clouds you know hitting off the forest and stuff and um it's quite nice and peaceful up here there's a lot more birds now flitting around and stuff and <clears throat> 
Um, but you know, you can hear your friends down below, you know, what can you see anything? Um, and you do think you can spot, um, you're not really entirely sure uh, in terms of distance, but you've definitely got a good idea of direction. Um, you think you can see like wisps of smoke coming up um, through the trees. It's not a steady stream. Um, so obviously wherever it is, isn't in a clearing, but it's just little bits that are obviously going up through the trees. Um, quite sure you can see little that's puffs of smoke. Um, or some just kind of weird mist that's acting strangely, but yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll try and remember which way it is. It's that way. That way? That way. I start climbing down. Like, I'm facing where it is and start climbing down, trying to keep facing, like, where the the smoke is. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Tropical smoke. Smoke. Smoke means fire. Mm -hmm. Yes. Smoke means smoky food with good flavor. Smoky meat. Smoky sausages. I'm hungry. <laughs> You're always hungry. Yes. True. So let's go there. Yeah, you get back down successfully, tell uh, the rest of the group and you agree to head off towards the uh, the, 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 the smokiness, <laughs> or at least what you believe is to be some smoke, as the, the troop once more heads off. Um, but the basket now, it's getting a little bit heavier now, <laughs> with all the, with all the shinies in it. Ooh. There is, yeah, and it's just, it's beginning to glow in and of itself. There's so many shiny things there as the, the shines come through the, the, the weeds in the basket. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, you guys uh, set off towards that. Give us that smoke? That way? Mm-hmm. You get back right. down, yeah, yeah. You're pretty sure that that was the direction it was coming from. Um, About time for a break at all. I've got to look after my uh, players and such. I've got to make sure we can get away. It's because uh... I am old and have drunk too much coffee. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> just bring up and uh, I'm, I say I, I'm going to uh, disappear, everyone, and uh, for just uh, just a uh, say five minute break. Yeah, not even that really. It's just whatever. It's just people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a quick one. Okay. Uh, so, yep, uh, we'll see everyone back here in a second then. And uh, chat, if you've uh, got any more ideas about questions you want to take for uh, Lawrence Slick, that would be a really great time to either chat about them now or just drop them straight in chat. As I say, use that flaming anvil thing and get some of the details that uh, you want done because it's it, it's going to be interesting. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> while our players get their much needed break. So how are people enjoying this? As I say, do you, do you, do you think you're, you'd be coming back for more of this type of thing? It's uh, it, it's, it's a change of pace. And it's not what we normally do. So and I'm, I'm enjoying it. As I say, the, the, the funny bone has been found. That's the most important thing. Um, yeah, uh, this, uh, this goblin romp is uh, quite entertaining. It's... Uh, after having the kind of a pocket area kind of kick and some cottagecore amusing things, it's uh, definitely like cottagecore goblins, not normally the mix I would have uh, presented, but hell, it works. <laughs> this is good, does look at. I'll say uh, there, there may or may not be pocket jingles. Um, we can probably, uh, you know, we can see what's happening with that. I'll say, I, don't, I don't know if you sort of say, because Laura, Laura ran you know, one of your adventures from last year, the other the other week as such and uh we, we had uh we unfortunately had some uh no shows so it was okay let's have a quick look kind of venture april see what kind of things are going on so it's uh it's definitely definitely a thing to do it's like if you just haven't got any idea because they are just set up and simple i mean um i won't reveal today one but yeah there's the roll tables and things everything we've built in you really can just get away with running out just open world and volume tablet go to adventure april open a page well one of the adventure april pages and yeah you could just get away with okay let's just run this 
you got three hours. I mean, some of them were for even, you know, are, are literally almost encounters. Um, because I, I say, uh, the when the great GM ran his great GM kind of challenge, he did a one shot in an hour just to really make sure that the pacing was absolutely tight and it was you know so you had limited focus and youtube shows sometimes you know you don't always have the focus so it's um yeah it's just in between as i say instead of dragging out your magic cards or warhammer quest or whatever your, your kind of off game uh night is you say just bring up a one shot it's a good habit to get into i mean there's is it trireme that did a really good uh book of um one shot rpgs uh, as a one page rpgs even um and obviously um grant how i say the uh honey heist and a lot of those one page rpgs are really fun um so that, and they're guaranteed to be as long as you need them to be because they're pretty you know you can get away with one encounter or you can do like three or so, but you're, you're definitely not pressed to have a whole adventure out of them. As in, when I say adventure, I mean a good four hour stretch because sometimes you just don't have four hours, but um, yeah. Or just for inspiration with the world anvil thing, because you don't have to flip, flip, flip. You can just scroll down on your phone, your tablet, hit your expanded boxes, which I mean, I really like the fact it's just like expand table. There's just no hassle, no no lagging around, and you just as you need it, you just open it, and it just gives that tools on hand kind of feeling. Yeah, it's yeah, it does okay. As I say, your, your your modules are pretty damn good and contain kobolds, guaranteed. Well, nice leagues, sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as I said, um, we will be going over more bits like this, and if this uh, say if people are happy with it. Um, we'll be cracking out some more one shots because I know the rest of the team want to get together and do some bits and pieces. I mean, it's been really fun. You know, Dimmy's been threatening us with uh, a game at the moment. And as I say, Alandro was here today. And uh, yeah, it's just been really fun to like, uh, we, we as a team and things like that, and all people around Earth will get, into, get together and just having a good game. So we, we may be approaching that on the channel as well. Now, I think everybody is back. I will just check. Okay, let's bring us all back then. Nice. And I will leave the, we will rejoin these goblins in the forest. <laughs> still lost. But with three shinies. Four. And maybe a, four shinies. Four. four. Sorry, I, I was I was just so we've got four shinies out. and we're one, two, three, four, five the times. Dragon now. Con yeah. The Dragon College Fund that you appear to have absconded with. It's just like, that college, yeah. that dragon's now never going to go to college. And it, 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 it hurts me deep. But maybe, maybe things will change. We can only see as uh, they get back to goblins lost in a wood. <laughs> see you in a bit. <clears throat> okay, so you guys head off in the direction that... Uh... Chop, <laughs> Chop was pretty convinced that uh, he he saw the the smoke um, popping up, and um, <clears throat> it, it's a little distance. So you guys kind of like um, have a fair bit of of of, of distance to walk. Uh, the forest around you is again. It this is a place that unless you've like come upon something it seems that everything's kind of just happening at the peripherals you know you can hear the you see an odd bird you know jumping about the trees and things like that but in terms of like creatures or animals and things like that um you mostly you never see one like cross across your path or or anything like that it's like everything just seems to happen on the on the peripherals here a little bit like just corner of your eye and then it's and then it's gone um and after being in here for a while as well, you realize that maybe it's, it's a little actually unnerving. You know, as, as wondrous as this place kind of is, it's, there is a bit of a, like an, un, just an unsettled kind of like feeling. Um, 
hanging upon you guys and the, the sense of urgency um, as to, you know, you needing to get out here is, is, is growing a little bit. And you guys might have time to talk to one another about this as you walk, if you wish. If not, we'll fast forward. <clears throat> this is weird. I hope we get the shiny soon because we need to find the kitchen so that so that we can have more yummy food. And coffee. Don't forget coffee. Outside there is fire. We should hurry. Yes. I want to go home. Chop, go home. I don't want to go home. But you home do want to go out of the forest. I want to get out, but I don't want to go home. Because at home, they mistreat coffee. Mm. They use the whole beans and just put it in water and say, get coffee. No. That doesn't sound very tasty. It isn't. Ooh. That That's no why coffee. I ran away. Nobody disrespect coffee like that. Okay. Then I'm mad. So, Slobane, why are you here? Uh, I'm hungry. That's all I think. I just want to get a human burger. Maybe made with humans, but probably made... Probably the humans made it rather than made with human pieces. I'm gonna try that out. Interesting. Yeah. I, I flicked through my recipe book. There's a recipe with that kind of burger. I don't remember mm -hmm. that kind of burger being a thing. I don't like burger? <laughs> hmm. I never yeah. heard of a burger. What is that? Bread and meat. All in one. Small. Eatable. Good. Ooh. Like oh. a meat pie? Yeah. Good. Humans, you've heard rumors of humans eating some, they eat strange things um, sometimes. They, they just invent things for the sake of inventing them as well. Um, it's, but it's quite tasty things as well, <clears throat> even if slightly peculiar. I wonder if humans have coffee. Coffee burger. Coffee burger? So like coffee in bread? No, coffee coffee in meat in bread? Coffee meat, coffee bread, coffee meat, coffee meat. maybe. Interesting. Interesting. Just put coffee in everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything that goes to Kobe's mind at the moment is just coffee, 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 <laughs> everything coffee because her addiction is starting to pile up. <laughs> <laughs> we, we should hurry before uh, coffee gets coffee cold. <clears throat> I don't know why, but all this talk of coffee is making me feel low. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> no coffee. <coughs> you guys all smell um, the smell of wood smoke. You probably do smell it too. <laughs> Two days without a bath, but you know, you've got one, two kids. Yeah, you smell like the, the smell of, of wood smoke um, on the air before you guys see anything. Um, and you, you think you can see like an, an object flicking through the trees as you walk. Well, not so much of the objects flicking, just that you're getting different views of it as you, you know, see through different parts of the, the trees as you walk kind of thing. And you realize that it's a, it's a building just before you come like out of the clearing, there is a, a, a small um, kind of cottage in the, in the middle of this um, clearing. And there is smoke curling up from the, from the chimney um, <clears throat> and disappearing up through the, through the few bits of trees that kind of like, even the trees loom over um, this clearing, the branches. Um, 
the, the tall branches of the trees. The trees kind of like lean in and almost make this clearing very, very gloomy. Um, and it's a lot quieter here. Like the bustling sounds of the of the forest and creatures scuttling through the through the underbrush and stuff like that seems to be not there. <clears throat> um, you can hear this kind of replaced with more scuttling sounds of like perhaps insects <clears throat> um, than uh, creatures like mammals or anything like that. Um, and there's a bit of an oppressive feel to it. The cottage itself looks um, kind of like old. The stones, it's its still quite well built. It doesn't look decrepit per se, but there's moss growing between the, um, the stone walls and everything seems quite like austere. You know, this isn't a cutesy little cottage in the middle of the woods, you know, with... There are no, um, there's a bit of what looks like maybe it's a garden plot uh, off to one side, but it doesn't really strike you as a very welcoming place. Um, Does the garden plot look tended? Yeah. As I say, the place looks well kept. Um, it's just old and as if nature the, the little bits of nature that have reclaimed it they've, they've kind of of let it um, there's smoke coming from the chimney coffee maybe they have fire maybe have you can make your coffee yes 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 yes, 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 yes coffee let's knock to, to make dinner yeah, just like I like, three. Oh, kitchen too. Kitchen. Just, just knock. I just should we knock the door? Storm towards the door, <laughs> because in my mind it goes, oh, <laughs> I have a chance to make coffee, and I just storm towards the door and just start knocking, like <clears throat> continuous knocking until something happens i suppose <laughs> before you even get to the door you're about halfway from the the edge of the clearing that you run out of to to the door um <clears throat> excuse me sir <clears throat> when the door is flung open anyway and um you can see this a dark shadowy figure in the in the doorway. It's mostly because it's dim behind it, and um, there's just this voice um, rings out. Stop! Who goes there? I guess I just I'm shocked at the sudden voice that comes out because I did not anticipate that. So I just stopped dead in my tracks with my. It's a mocha pot over there that is going all the high. Do you have fire? I need coffee, please. I don't care what you need. Go away. Oh. Oh, okay. I'll just slowly, copy slowly, just start walking backwards. Wait, wait, wait. Fairly intimidated. Wait. Please? Maybe that will, maybe that will work. Hi, who are we? I am a goblin named Bramble. Who are you? That's none of your business. Oh. Who I am is somebody you shouldn't bother. Oh. I'll go away. And it all slams. Ooh. They're very grumpy. Very rude. I just stand there sad. <laughs> I um, step in front of everyone and face in this building. Like, you are very rude. If my GMR was alive, she will shove this ladle up where the sun don't shine. You. I should scold you like what my GMR done to me when I was... Mood like you. Arr. 
to mať kritiku. Ok, so, did you smell any food when you enter for a bit? Did you smell anything? Anna, she was like halfway away from the door when it okay. just flung open and she screeched to a halt. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys think we can like enter? Like, here's an idea. Don't kill it before you try it. Um, we enter through a window, we prepare some food, and then we win her over with the food. But she already knew I was there and I wasn't even at the door. Ooh. True. This place feels mad. I don't think maybe uh, we can look in through the window though and see if there's food. If if we can get closer with, mm. without her getting grumpy again. Let's try it. Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> While Chop is holding the door. <laughs> We're breaking and entering. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I is... yeah, to break it in a door. While well, uh, Chop steadily talks to the closed door. <laughs> so... Uh, is um, Cobby taking part in the breaking and entering, or have you no, had I, enough I just, of a fright? I just <laughs> stand there at the side with my mocha, just shaking because the addiction is slowly taking over more and more. So I'm now just shaking there, partly frightened, partly just in, incapable of doing things. And... <laughs> you guys are mad! <laughs> Okay, so um, roll me some 2d6s. Um, I don't know if you have anything that... You can get a, a, a plus one for um, Chop shouting at the door from the other side as you guys sneak around the back too. I have rolled a 10. Oh, I got an 8. Nice. <laughs> so yes, you definitely both succeed um, <laughs> as you, you creep around the the building. Um, and from the, this end, um, <clears throat> you realize it's a reasonably large-ish uh, cottage, to be fair. Um, Stone-built thatched roof um, and the the large chimney uh, breast seems to be around this back end of the house kind of thing. And you can see indeed a, a, a small window um, around the back, with <clears throat> possibly like a, a pantry or something like that. Maybe you're not, you're not really sure. But you um, creep forward, and the you have to pull yourself up. The windowsills are quite um, tall. This is obviously a human, or at least someone human sized, because you didn't really get a good look at the. It was kind of just like a hooded, shadowed figure. Although it did sound like a humanoid voice like a human voice so you have to pull yourselves up um to peek through the window and <clears throat> inside you can you, is a it is indeed it does seem to be a, a pantry um or something like you can be, kind of make out shelves in the dim light that's coming through the windows the windows aren't really cleaned um although they're you know, they're not cracked or anything like that. They're well repaired, they're, they're not kept that clean. So you can kind of make out shelves and some baskets and various store things and stuff in here. So, Bramble, my idea was to, you know, the breaking and entering and cook something for her, but I don't cook. Do you oh. cook? No. We had the but ones I, of, oh, I think that Here's an idea. Originally, it was like getting the two other goblins to either make some coffee or make some food and then convince her to be nice after we made it. But they are not here. So what if we knock her out nicely? And then we prepare the food as an apology for the knocking her out. Are you in? <laughs> 
<laughs> Shall I take that as a yes? <laughs> Knock her out nicely. To wrap the nicely. club in a little bit of bubble wrap with a boar. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> 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 so we have to be very, 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 very nice because she was very, 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 very mean. Yes. But we're a small sneaky. Can we use that? Did we use that already? We already used that one. I don't know. <laughs> Should we throw dice with no tags and see if we well, can knock first off, how are you trying to get through the window? Um. Oh, right, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> how are you getting right. in first? Let's deal with that bit before we deal with the knocking out bit. Um. Well. <laughs> Any ideas? Um, my basket is really, really, really heavy, and I can break the window, maybe, with my basket. And yeah. all the shine is inside. <laughs> They yeah, must be heavy. You notice that it does seem to be like a, 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 a sash type window. Um, can, can we just open the window maybe? Oh yeah. To try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> <Two bubbles. laughs> ah, shit. So he just goes, what are you doing? <laughs> also, she's here with us. No, 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 no. She, okay. she must be like, as I said, this is like a little pantry and there must be a door and like an, another room beyond that kind of thing. So you're kind of like breaking into it. But yeah, you slide it and it does actually um, open. It's a little stiff um, and it makes a bit of a, a creak and a noise and you pause. For you don't really seem to hear anything other than um, the slight juddering of... <laughs> <laughs> clattering of the lid on the coffee pot <laughs> and uh, the sound of job um, basically explaining manners to whoever this person is <laughs> explaining the proper and decent way to treat visitors um, yeah <laughs> and yes you're able to pull yourselves up and over into this um, pantry so we're in. We are in. Okay, should we try knocking her <laughs> with the bag? No, with your bag? We don't even know where she is yet. We have to open the pantry first. All right. Well, let just Maybe. open it like Maybe. randomly. Like. <laughs> we I don't want to get to the knocking like outfit. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe we can just cook somehow. But she's going to hear us. Do you think she's going mm -hmm. to? Well, let's. What do you want to cook? Let's find out. Let's say hi. Do you want to say hi? Okay, we'll I'll try. Be sneaky, sneaky. If anything, I'll try a joke. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky first. Okay. You open the door. Okay, so you carefully. Are you just opening, or are you <laughs> being? Are you doing it carefully, or are you just striding in? Slowly, no. Okay, yeah. You slowly open the, the, the pantry door and you get a look inside the the cottage better now. It's a bit more open plan. Um, there's a, a fire um, burning, I guess you came around the side of the building to the, the, that's where the, the chimney was and around this side, the small little like, narrow bit, so it's longer. Um, and there's a, a bit of a corridor that leads to a little room at this side, but then through the door in front of you, it opens up and it's 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 one big space and there's a table and there's a big um, like pot um, bubbling away on the on the fire and the witch is kind of stood um, well, damn it, the, the figure is stood um, in front of the door, like staring at the door. Uh, there's um, cloaked in, in dark robes kind of figure, um, a bit hunched over, and it's kind of just staring at the door, and its, sh the, its shoulders seem to be moving up and down, you're not entirely sure is it maybe it's laughing, you know, it doesn't seem to be making a sound, um, but it seems to be quite taken with the berating that it's getting <laughs> from the other side of the door 
Um. <clears throat> I see the bubbling pot and I just have to, I cannot control myself and I serve my, I try finding something that is shallow enough. So I pour a, bit, a little bit of it. I don't care if she hears, I'm just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the clank of the, of the ladle um, goes off, the, the, the figure whips round and um, the hood slips back slightly and you are just faced with this, it's this gaunt, face where the skin seems to be pulled tight over over the the skull as if the the flesh is like not like a um like you know dead or anything like that but just just so old and it's just all all pulled back um and the nose is long and hooked and but more importantly it's the eyes the eyes just seem to like pierce your your very soul as she turns to look at you and just utters a single word and you just feel this a dread a wash over you and you're just frozen in place you you can't move you can't you can't do anything you're just mesmerized by these burning hot ember eyes that seem to stare into you oh, that's not good I mean, I cannot do anything. You do something. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> so I sneak out and say, "Hello, we we just wanted you to know that we were friendly." I had whips round, and um, <laughs> another one. You dare! I and from outside, you guys can hear this because the voice is not like quiet. It's this. This same loud <laughs> roaring uh, voice that you that you heard before, um, and she throws out a finger and and points it towards um, Bramble, and again that same like sense of, of dread. Just it's like just your bones are made of iron, and there's this horrible feeling in the pit of your stomach of just. You can just stand there in fear and terror. From outside the building, you guys can hear the the sounds of "You dare!" and you realize, "Ooh." I, I slowly walk up to Chop, who is at the front of the door, and say, "That doesn't sound good, does it?" As as, as I don't really, as I'm at the door. Third survey well, so I guess I don't really see them go in. I mean, it's me going off on one, and so I'm thinking <laughs> she's thinking <laughs> like, "What do you mean I dare you dare or not you?" <laughs> I'm gonna count to three, and if this door don't open, why I will open it myself, and I will one, <laughs> two. Oof. As you get to th, the door slams open on its hinges, but there's nobody there. You can see inside the room now this this figure standing in the room, this cowled, hunched over figure, um, and your two friends. Uh, well, maybe they are your friends. You've just met them, but you know, they're just kind of stood, eyes wide open in absolute terror and fear, and they just do not seem to be moving at all, just frozen there. Say now that's what I thought. Now my friends here would like a coffee and some food. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what I was about to ask him. Um, what is his coffee doing? <laughs> Basically that. <laughs> um. I, the, the, can I notice that she's still is she still pointing the finger towards um, Bramble? Yeah, she's kind of got one finger flung out um, still. The other is just kind of like hanging 
<laughs> but both my, my, there and um, so basically you walk in and the, the figures in front of you to the right hand side is the fireplace with um, Slobang he's got a ladle held up in a bowl and he's just about to dip the ladle into the pot and he's frozen solid like that in the same expression and um, kind of you can just see um Bramble just behind the witch, and you, know, you, you peek over, you can see that she's kind of clutching her basket and just, yeah. Coffee is all that is on my mind right now, but also the sense of these other two goblins that help me. So in a, in in sort of a woof of, you know, addiction fueled fury. I just run towards the witch and stick the pointy end first into her nose, being her own finger. What are you putting in her, uh, up her nose, sorry? Her finger. Oh, her finger. Yes. <laughs> okay. Wait, so right. she's like this and you're like, Whoa! Yeah, she's going to try and just grab a hold of her arm. Is she good? <laughs> <laughs> okay um chop you obviously see this happen you see um kobe dot past you um and just basically kind of charge at this witch um well at this figure <laughs> it's obvious though really you know what i mean <clears throat> do you just let it happen, or are you doing anything, or? I let it happen. I'm just hand on hip, ladle in hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, you do that, so you can <laughs> roll me <laughs> your 2d6. Um, I'm going to give a minus um, one penalty um, to this roll. Uh, because you are dealing with a very clever and powerful, let's say, foe so far. They've, it's obvious they've already managed to have some effect on your... Um, <clears throat> and if there's anything you think you can counter that with... The pointy uh -huh. end first. <laughs> 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 as, <laughs> as we burn the pointy end first tag. <laughs> oh, Go for it, man. So it's just, just a straight 2d6. What did you roll? It's a 12. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you stand there with ladle in hand, you'd be waiting, uh, the door slams open, <laughs> and, you, and you see this stage set in front of you. But before you can do anything with that label, that, that ladle um, at all, the figure of... Um, a copy just comes fuming past you, <laughs> vibrating furiously. <laughs> she moves past and just kind of reaches up and grabs a hold of the witch's hand and just rounds the finger of this witch straight up <laughs> to her nose. And both um, Bramble and Slowbang. You also noticed as the the witch was staring at you um, with these these eyes that um, in the center of her forehead, um, as um, a copy runs by, this this third eye opens in the forehead, and it is shining shining brightly. Um, and she turns to it, but she's just not fast enough for this um, little little caffeine addict. <laughs> <laughs> grabs over and shoots this finger up the poor witch's nose. 
Um, and <laughs> very surprised by all of this, most definitely. Um, and as you do so, you, you get it so far up there, you feel the crunch and the clunk, and the, the eye just boom, <laughs> flies out of the front of the, the witch's face, and she tumbles backwards onto the ground with, with coffee still hanging onto her arm. Um, and Slobang and, and Bramble, you feel the that you, your cells suddenly release, and that and that sense of dread and fear and terror and everything just just rushes away from you. That's much better. <laughs> I want my coffee. Uh, okay, I feel safe. I feel peaceful again, and I continue what I was doing and eating. <laughs> I see the shiny. I want the shiny. <laughs> the shiny is like, yeah, that fell off and, and rolled oh. across the floor and underneath one of the cabinets across the other end of the room. I kind of wanted to taste yeah. it. I wanted to taste it. To see you look down as you begin to ladle and you kind of stop. It's the smell first. It's not a pleasant smell. But this isn't, you mm -hmm. know, you, you get over it and you suddenly go, ooh. And like something floats to the surface as it begins to bubble, and you—is that a toe? That, that's that's a toe. That hmm. You can eat it if you want, but that's what you're faced with. I will taste the the water around it, see if it's good. But otherwise, I'll okay, okay. I'm not that hungry then. That toe was not clean. If it's the toe that's uh, causing that flavor. No, no, I'll. I hate myself, but not that much. I, I, I won't be eating this. <laughs> I wait for Chubb's food. <laughs> so yeah, you guys find yourselves um, in this in this hut. Um, this creature that's now I'm pretty sure it's dead. Um, <clears throat> for a pointy end first. Just <laughs> Um, why Kima and is great <laughs> Because whatever you have, and also yeah, and also whatever you point, you have three pointed right back at you. And in this case, one of them may even point right up your nose. <coughs> um. And, and, then, and then I want to like have a sniff on the cauldron and go, needs more salt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also quite sure it probably needs less body parts, but. Oh, salt. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bramble, were you scrambling after the the shiny? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, you scramble and you. Scramble after it as it rolls off across the floor and underneath a, um, a cabinet at the far end of the room. You reach under and you're scrambling around, and eventually you grasp hold of it and you pull it forward. And sure enough, it's this. Um, it looks kind of a little bit like the cat's eyes marbles that you carry within your within your bag. Um, uh, but the, the the eye in the center is is shining, kind of similar to the little orb thing that you got as well. <clears throat> I think I found another one. I found another shiny. Unless it's a marble. It could be. I could collect it and put it with my marbles. What do you guys think? I, I, I'm not even paying attention to it. I, I, I grabbed my coffee pot and just went through that fire. And I don't care that there is this call remove boiling body parts. I just put my... <laughs> <laughs> on there and be like wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a Yeah, and soon the smell of coffee floats through the the cabin. What is anybody else wanting to do? <clears throat> I, I would like a closer look in the marble. May I look? Sure. You can look. And look at it. And then I go, Oh, look at me. <laughs> 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 uh, 
what the hell ain't some of my tall damn soap? Mm. <laughs> Okay, come back now. Add fun. I put it in my basket. Is, yeah. it, is it one of the shinies that we? I think it's one of the shinies we use. <clears throat> it is definitely shining. Shiny. I'm gonna put it with my basket. It shine my forehead. Mm-hmm. I just go and check the pantries to see something I can grab. I'm like, okay, I ate something, whatever, and then try to get clues like this, which may know about this. Maybe she knows something. She's in smart. Mm, you, back in the party. Uh, you manage to find like uh, food that doesn't look suspect. You know, like a, a couple of heels of bread and some cheese and yeah. stuff like that. So you manage to get yourself a snack that you are happy enough eating. And it's, it's yeah. quite tasty. Um, <clears throat> but there doesn't seem to be... Um, there doesn't seem to be any books at all in this place, actually. Well, yeah, no, there doesn't. It is what? full of like pots and jars of strange and weird things, and and dried herbs and stuff hanging from the ceilings and things, and um, a lot of little unlabeled and some labeled in a text that I don't think any of you would understand, um, lined up off on the shelves and stuff like that, and. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Is there any honey? Uh, sure, why not? Okay. I, why not? I <laughs> grab the honey and try giving it to Chubb. Like, hey, can you, I don't know, smell the honey and try tracking some bees <clears throat> or something? <laughs> Honey smells really know. nice. Um, Lillian honey never nice. goes off anyway, so yeah. It smells good. I, I think it. I go quite nice in the coffee, really. And uh, have some. Mm. It's good honey. Mm. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, but as the yeah. coffee finally settles into. Um, copies <laughs> she, she comes down and you sit for a little bit from the excitement and and uh, pass a jar of honey around and it's quite tasty and stuff like that eventually you again hear this the same buzzing sound as before um and <clears throat> did you guys shut the door is it still open still open still okay. open so yeah, so the swarm of bees becomes and st- it stands in the middle of the like it doesn't stand, it kind of swarms and floats and twists and turns in the middle of the um of the cottage and um the figure just goes, Congratulations you did it. Yay, we found the shiny. See, they're all in my basket. Yes. But I don't want them. Oh. They're for the forest. Oh. I nearly speak on behalf of the forest. Does that include the trophy we won? All shinies. Oh. Where should we bring those shinies? <clears throat> yeah. Follow me. And the swarm kind of glides outside a little bit and kind of hovers in the in the clearing. So we follow. Hmm. <laughs> and kind of a, it's almost like a, an appendage, almost like forms from the from the swarm of bees and kind of points off in a direction now where you see kind of like, this now is a bit more of a path, it seems to be a bit more um, defined. And you, you're quite sure that that wasn't there when you first came in here. Um, but nevertheless, a quite a well-defined path, just lined with tiny little stones, um, <clears throat> leads off. And um, the, the swarm of bees just says, follow the path. You'll reach a wall of mist. 
lay the trophies at the feet of the wall and the way forwards will be shown. Mm. Okay, okay, we can do that. Can we do that? Yes, let's go. Wait, yes. Beast, Beast, do you need the, the golden... We, we kind of stole something from our really cute baby dragon. Oh, yeah. Do you need it? I care not where they came from. Oh. Sorry? Oh. I care not where they came from. Okay. Poor baby dragon. Maybe afterwards we can check the the dragon and tell him, like, give it back to him? No, I'm not going near the dragon again. <laughs> <laughs> An ice cream truck goes by outside. <laughs> <laughs> so I suppose we follow the pebbles. I have a question. Yes. You say the forest wants shinies, and yet we found these shinies in the forest. The forest already had this one, so why do you want shinies? I, mean, shinies I don't want shinies. Oh. Then I can get to keep the trophy? No. No. Oh. Can we get some of your honey to take with us? I told you before, I don't make honey. Oh. Oh. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so I guess I guess the mist wants the shinies. The forest. This forest okay. is weird. It is weird. Okay. We go now. <gasps> Maybe it's a person called Forest. Okay, we can we can oh. we can help this forest person. They want shinies, we give shinies. I want to go Should home. we run? <sighs> you can run if you want to. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you guys all set off at a run. <laughs> Following the, the path, which is quite well laid out. There's no like um, roots or trunks or anything like that to get in your way and you, and you follow it. It's just for a short distance, really. Um, such a short distance that you, you're quite sure you should have come across this wall of mist before now. You're sure you've... Hmm. <clears throat> but anyway, a short distance. And sure enough, there's this, this kind of scintillating wall of mist that just hovers across the path and seems to disappear um, on either side through the forest. <clears throat> yeah, I guess this is it. And the bees said to put the shinies right by the mist. So we will we will put the shinies there, yes? So we have a trophy. Yes. And, and a disc. The and feather. On the feather. And this marble. And this other thing. The other other ball Warp. thing. Yeah. <clears throat> and we put them on the ground. They are no longer in my basket. <laughs> As you lay them items on the ground, uh, the section of the mist in front of the path kind of just begins to thin slightly, um, and, it, and it sparkles a little bit um, as it as it thins. And you're quite sure you can see something now now through it um, on the other side. <clears throat> it sparkles. It's shiny. It is shiny. But it is forward. Is it is shiny, not clear? And we're still goblin, so we're still true to ourselves. So the path forward is clear. Oh, okay. I it's didn't become food. <laughs> so, so this way is maybe kitchen. <clears throat> maybe. And fire from her coffee. But I don't see anyone named Forest. Hmm. Oh. So you guys stepping through? Each one of you step through and you 
as you take the step, you feel like a a, a wet as if you've I don't know if you've ever like a, a mist of water from a from a sea spray or like a heavy fog or something, you know, that kind of like just misty wetness that kind of uh, hits your face kind of thing. Um, and as you do, suddenly each one of you begin to just feel dizzy and the, the world and everything begins to, to spin, to spin around you. Um, <clears throat> and it, oh, no. it, it kind of spins and spins and spins and spins. And then all of a sudden you kind of like, Ooh, you stop with like a, a, a jolt as if you know when you when you think you're falling and you sleep when you wake up suddenly kind of um like that with a jolt um and <clears throat> as you look around yourselves this time um as you kind of ooh, come to when the, the, the dizziness kind of settles you're all sat around a, a cozy campfire um kind of in a what you're not sure in the it, it, it's dark um, but you can see the shapes of huts and things like that and other fires now springing up um, uh, that are dotted about and you're sat around this um, this this campfire all four of you um, suddenly and um, as you sit there um, you can see that somebody is suddenly getting up from the um a log that's opposite you guys on the fire and it's this old goblin um woman and she holds a large like gnarled staff in her hands kind of thing and she has like the the chain around her neck that usually marks a a, a goblin shaman <clears throat> um not the same as maybe the it, for any of you that came from a tribe that your shaman would have worn, but you know that old goblin shamans wear these these necklaces made of of whatever it is that is special to that clan. <clears throat> and as your memories begin like flooding flooding back to to each of you, um, <clears throat> you remember Bramble. You you ran and you ran and 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 they just kept chasing. They just kept chasing and and you ran for for you don't even know how long until you were so far from home that you you didn't know how to get back and you you got lost and you were wandering and uh, a tribe of a group of goblins found you wandering alone in a, a, on a heath um, and you were. <clears throat> You're in pretty bad condition because there wasn't much to eat out there and stuff like that. So then they brought you back to um, to their clan and they, they they took you in and they kind of nursed you back to health. And um, Chop, you were you had been searching, traveling, and things like that, looking for somewhere that. Um, well, I mean, you know what you did. You know you can't go back. But you kind of needed somewhere to be because you still want somewhere to be able to cook. And as much as you like eating your own food, you do actually like other people eating your food as well. You like to know that you're a, you're a, you're a, you know, a good chef kind of thing. Um, and you wandered into the, 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 oh? the best chef, the best, the best cookbook. Chef. Yeah, best cookbook. <laughs> Um, and yeah, you came across this again, this clan of goblins. You wandered into their camp and you cooked for them, and um, not a single one of them minded that you know you taste tested before you gave it to the rest of them. You know they understood this. It's it's how else are you supposed to know that something's going to be good if you don't try it for yourself first? I mean, you know, they they, they understood you, <clears throat> and um, the copy. The, um, you remember coming as on your travels um, <clears throat> as you were wandered away from home you came across this again this same this same tribe of the, the clan rather of, of goblins and um, they'd never really tasted coffee before um, it was a, a new experience for them but oh, oh, it made their dancing so much better they just they were so energized and, and, and had so much energy and this this was fantastic. They they can't believe that this was a thing that they'd never had in their lives before and they kind of asked they asked you to stay. Um and um Slobang <clears throat> you had been on the lookout for these burgers made by by humans. 
Um, and you just find out that apparently a couple of towns over, <laughs> there are indeed humans that do make these these burgers. Um, and the, this particular goblin clan has developed quite a quite a penchant for them. Um, but they come about them via their own means. <laughs> they know to sneak into town on an evening and, you know, they help themselves to those <laughs> those, those, those human beggars. <clears throat> and do you remember that each and every one of you had been invited to, to join this, the weasel clan? Um, but you needed to, each and every one of you, be tested. Because... As we all know, oh, what is that sound? Oh, that's, oh. Yeah, it's like a small mini train. Can anybody else hear it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, that tells you where that's coming from. <clears throat> all right, okay, anyway. Um, where was I? Oh, yes, each of you had been, but you needed to be put through a trial. Because as we all know, every goblin clan goblins in its own unique way. And they had to be certain that each of you represented the ways of the weasel clan. You had to be sure that you could you could goblin in the way that suited suited the goblin clan. And as all these memories come back to you, um, it makes sense now about being true to yourself and and things like that. And as the shaman stands in front of you um, <clears throat> and kind of throws out her her arms kind of wide um, <clears throat> and she just says welcome home you've proven yourselves sorry <clears throat> to be true goblins in the eyes of the weasel clan we welcome you into the family may you always find a home among us and um, she goes to each of you um, and she puts a small little um um, necklace, like a little necklace kind of thing um, around your necks and on hanging off each of them is a small little wooden carved um, weasel in the throes of a dance. <laughs> and she hangs each and every one of them around your neck and kisses you each on each cheek and welcomes you into the family. <clears throat> and then whole goblin hell breaks loose as the party lasts well into the night and that is where our camera fades back from our our um goblins as they go out into the village and they're patted on the back and welcomed and the rest of the night is given away to to dancing and drinking coffee and eating good food that is it thank you Thank you so much, everybody, for, for this wonderful uh, thing. <laughs> you all goblin good. Yay. <laughs> so much fun. And the dragon. Poor dragon. <laughs> yep, I, I, I'm going to need you to say that that goblin, that uh, dragon got to college, Laura. <laughs> 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 The skeleton troop came across it and they took pity on it and they all banded together and, you know, put some money together and ensured that the, <laughs> the dragon got a decent education. <laughs> it's very important. Yeah, you know, your dragon's got to get educated. It's like, uh, that's the one thing everyone should take away from this stream. That and wigfish, but Laura's, Laura's going to tell you about that at another time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, another thing that I'd like to do, um, as I'd mentioned, is we um, first started. First off, did everybody enjoy yourselves? Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. <laughs> um, well, just a little, a little go around the table. Like, what was everybody's, your own favourite moment from it? And what was something cool or funny or amusing that uh, one of the other players um, did during the session? So we'll start with uh, Danny, since you're at the top for me. Gosh. So there were several <laughs> great <laughs> moments, but I think the one that made me laugh uncontrollably <laughs> was when we got to the cottage and decided that we needed to knock her out. <laughs> <laughs> just, just get into the house, it's fine. 
<laughs> Knock her out nicely. <laughs> And uh, uh, a favourite or funny moment from somebody else that you thought was cool or a good bit of role play or? Um, well, I I think that um, the along with that same moment, the shaking coffee addict, <laughs> <laughs> shaking angry coffee addict. <laughs> 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 Indeed, that is a good moment. Um, <clears throat> Alejandro, how did it? What was your uh, favorite moment or a good moment and a moment so from somebody else? This is the longest playthrough that I've ever had. And like at some point I was like, hmm, I can throw around crazy ideas and see if they're stick. So <laughs> lots of those moments. I really love the opening the hatch door because I was like, Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. Or when they climb up the wall, like the trees, I was like, yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> People doing creative things. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Shadow, are you able to respond to us? Shadow comes from the future now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're a little behind because their headphones have finally died, unfortunately. At least they waited until the end of the session. Oh, you they're are muted. muted. Silent wizard. Muted. Oh, let, let's, uh, can we try it on mute? No, no, it's uh, it's muted oh, by oh. yourself. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can. All right, this is interesting yeah. indeed. We hear you. All right. Um... So my favorite moment, well, yeah, kill a witch by finger. That's definitely, <laughs> I don't know what my brain did at that moment, but it got the pointy end first, which has pointy finger. We can work with that. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Uh, and for others, uh, a, a definitely. Lack of coffee? Yeah. And definitely for someone else, a uh, uh, job going for the coffee grass would be like, None. and just <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> uh, that was definitely another moment. But this entire session was just loads of fun, in my opinion. I'll gladly do it again because <laughs> I had trouble controlling my laughter at some points. <laughs> Excellent. And Hefe? Yeah, it was just it was just all fun. Uh, best thing about these one shots is the is the amount of improv that we all got to do, um, and it's just funny and it's, it's great trying to like trying to bounce off with everyone and things. It's, it's awesome and yeah, uh, I think best moment has to be the the witchy finger. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, I for one was irritation. yeah very impressed with everyone's um, inventiveness and I must say as crazy as you guys were I, I was not expecting the finger up the nose um, thing <laughs> but as soon as you said point the end first and I looked at the tag I thought you know what that says is what it says on the tin um, but I think another one of my favourite moments was it was um, chops an awkward conversation with the very morose skeleton <laughs> just on the, <laughs> on the tree log. Um, it was, yeah. was quite amusing <laughs> to me. So, we trying yeah, to pull it out of a stone. <laughs> yeah, everyone's doing like dancing with we- we- weasels and meanwhile, so... Uh... <laughs> 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 no, but I think for um, some of you never having really well played much before or definitely not on streams or anything like that, I think each and every one of you did very, very well. Um, so thank you very much for coming in and playing with me today and making my little one shot so much fun. <laughs> thank you for writing a really fun one shot. That was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Great. <laughs> Yeah, can I, can I just get a, a, round, a round of applause for Laura Bones for running some fun <laughs> cottages and goblins and stuff. <laughs> I think everyone would quite happily get lost in the forest again. So it's uh, 
yeah, uh, you all, thanks so much for coming on. I'll say this day is like, you, you guys have made it today. I say all the guests that come in and doing awesome things. We have a quick fire round going, I think, because we've got five minutes until we hand over to Janet. So um, I'm going to quickly do some, because we've got, we've got to shout you out from promo wise. And we've, we've got some little things. So it's uh, starting with uh, Dora, obviously, uh, you're, you're, you're the GM here this evening. You've done a lot of this. This is kind of old hat for you, but I, it, I, it's still really nice of you to drop in and just like kind of run a cool one shot. Um, is there anything you want to shout out that you're doing or things that are cool or just something you love about world building if you're just like, if that's just where you're at? I'm just going to drop Laura's link in the chat. Yeah. Currently, I think my favorite thing, other than the, <clears throat> the, the, uh, one shot, uh, not the one shot, the campaign that I'm running for people, but that's not televised or anything anyway. Um, I think my other favourite thing at the moment is my sort of RPG um, currently um, in my witch world and there's other, but yeah, that's my current my current thing, moment, thing of the year or moment is uh, <laughs> solo RPG journaling, just because it combines everything, role playing, writing, crafting. It's, yeah. It just t- ticks, ticks a lot of the boxes of things that I like to do. Yeah, so I, I, I think we're going to be looking... Me. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I would say we're, we're going to be looking into a lot more of things like that because, it is, <clears> as you say, it combines so many world-building disciplines that it's just ace. It's, uh, yeah. And uh, Danny, let's, let's quickly drop in and see. That I, I see you haven't got a link. I can't... Uh, oh, no, Liridity.com is there, but, uh, yeah, I would drop that. Tell us some Danny things. Danny things... Um, um, I write, um, or I'm oh. currently enjoying filling out my world at Luridity, um, and I write wholesome, inclusive romance and some slice of life stories there, which is lots of fun. Um, so that's my current project and my favorite thing to do right now. <laughs> this is good i would just replace the uh thing in the chat with the actual real live link <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah as i say could can they find out dropping on your discord as well but i suppose they can find that all through your link on world angle yes 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 yes, yes, yes. um alejandro how are you doing thanks for turning up it's it's, it's great to see you actually playing and things um Tell us a little bit about yourself. Just uh, we've, got, we've got a quick minute to go through things. Um, getting again into the world of tabletop RPGs. Uh, check out World Anvil. It's a really cool page. I'm trying to make it better <laughs> every day. Uh, that's it. That's it. Finally got my character converted into the real world. His desires and he got me a burger. So yeah, that was a successful campaign. It uh, is. Yeah, it. X, XP for everyone. XP exactly. for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shadow, drop me some knowledge. Oh, knowledge. Well, that, that's difficult, man. <laughs> um, I, I got computer knowledge, old computer knowledge, new computer knowledge. I got some world building knowledge that's still fairly limited because I've been here for almost a year. Um, so I'm still figuring out my way to, you know, build a world and, and try to do something about that. Uh, currently working with something that is supposed to be an article that states my planning, but the number of articles just keeps growing and growing and growing and oh, so I'll try to plan, but you know, let things just go. And as I you like need to more say, is homework streams. <laughs> yes. Probably, no, certainly. <laughs> but you know, I, I always say this: let the chaos commence, and something fun will come out of it anyway. Yeah, that that describes today. Uh, yes. the, sorry, the witch's finger, witch's own finger up the nose was definitely a highlight of my own. <laughs> so, and uh, Hef, if you can give us a marquee banner with as many Hefs as you can fit into it. Okay. Um, I Hef, I will build. I. Extreme, write, map, make, artist, have game designer. Um, yeah, I will. I'll build the world of the Heflings, and I tried to gamify world building with Project Forge. And yeah, second round posted me Hef Studio link, which is awesome. So yeah, that's what I do. I have. 
<laughs> pretty much. Well, yeah, in closing, you're all absolutely ace. I want to drag you all back in for some more fun games. We will be back doing this type of thing no matter what, the different times, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, you're just all amazing. Uh, we're going to jump off in approximately a minute. So comedy hand dancing until it goes 55 on the clock. <laughs> yes, this is all professional. This is this is not filler at all. This is genuine content. This is this is quality content, everyone. This is exactly what you signed up for. <laughs> and we are ready to end the stream. See you, Janet in a second, and thanks for being with us this afternoon, this evening, or in the morning, depending on your time zone. Keep <laughs> well, you, and uh, everyone, stay world build, not go. Yeah. Stay today. Stay See world See Janet build. in a second. <laughs> See you all very very soon. I'm back to my production hall. Thanks, people. <laughs>